Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, right? And that was uh, symbolic, all right? Because you read about this story in uh, Genesis, the 25th chapter, 
All right, how uh, Esau came out first, but Jacob and help and held the heel of Esau. That's symbolic for the times that we in. All right, Jacob. All right, um, the tribe, the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. We pulling Esau, Edom out of rulership, and before we do it physically, we doing it spiritually. All right, the scripture says we breaking down the strongholds. You know, we, we are lifting the skirt, okay, uh, from this devil. It says, verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Right, man. So this next, the next kingdom to come, uh, written in Daniel the twelfth chapter, says the saints shall take the kingdom and possess it forever and ever, and that's literal, you know, because we're we gonna be changed, like the brother was saying. All right, what does that mean? We're gonna, we gonna be perfect. All right, because Romans six twenty three, the ways of sin is death. So this is why we fell into that lower state, but the Lord is going to uh, renew that covenant with us. We're gonna be uh, in the second covenant. You know? Right, immortal. What's the world has never seen, bro? A nation of uh, people immortal. A nation of people that can never sin, man. That's what the world is getting ready to uh, have on the planet Earth. All right, pursuing a biblical prophecy, man. A nation of immortality, man. All right, because righteousness is immortal, man. And the, the law, statutes, and commandments is getting ready to be embedded in our spirits, man. So we're, the laws one, we're part of that uh, number, which me and Brother Ariel was going into uh, earlier uh, throughout uh, last week, you know? If not, if not, who, who else doing what we doing, man? So, you know, you do got to have that balance, all right, of uh, 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 humility, but also to that confidence, like, man, I, I got to be one of them men, dog. Nobody on planet Earth, bro, my age, all right, is giving up everything, man. You could be with all type of hoes, all that shit, man. You know, all in top, all in the world, man. But you gave all that up to serve you out by some shine, truth and sincerity, right? Okay, so that's what the, the, the that's what we, we hoping to be a part of that number for, man to be righteous forever, man, right. you know? Because the scriptures say in Romans, the eighth chapter, okay? All right, uh, uh, if we suffer with it, we're gonna be joint with you, how about you, man? All right? So had that recent uh, group. Con, yes, yes, oh, it's sorry. group five and five. It says, arise, O Jerusalem. Arise, O Jerusalem, That's in the spirit. Uh, say the 60th Amen. chapter. Arise and shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of you, how about you, man, shall be seen upon thee, man. So this is the glory, this light, this truth. That's entered into uh, our souls, man. Uh, wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter. Okay, the scriptures say, uh, wisdom entering in uh, uh, into holy souls, making them friends and prophets of Yahweh Shem Shai. And that's what this light is. Yahweh Shem Shai. And Yahweh Shai said uh, in Matthew's the fifth chapter, let thy light shine. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So what you see is brothers out here on a on a uh, on a uh, hill, man. This is that mountain. See. This is what the nations are afraid of, man. Prophecy being fulfilled. And the, you like, got it. Yeah, go ahead. It says in Revelation, you know, uh, uh, I think it says like, uh, three, it says the, the breakdown is 350 years. No, from the state of God, you know, they're just going to put fear on the bottom of the nation. So, like, us prophesying on the highways and bottoms, that's been a fear on all the elites because they know that their time is up. That's right. Yeah. Hey, it's that, uh, uh, Psalms 50, you know? I would, uh, uh, he said, gather my saints together. You know, I will uh, gather them together, you know, before thine eyes, man. So this devil know when he see man of a, uh, uh, cause it's just to say, let no man despise thy youth. And we know how the Lord deal with the prophets like he did with Jeremiah, you know, he, he, he deal with the, uh, 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 the young man, you know, he built, hey, like he did with King David, he took him from the, uh, from the sheepfold, man. See, and made him what? Made him head, man. See, so that's what that, they afraid. Why? Because he see young man standing up. All right, and the scripture said, wisdom of Solomon, fifth chapter, man. Alright, I know you got something hot right now. Go ahead, uh, This is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, uh, starting at verse 5. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of darkness. It's like we are not of night nor of darkness. And you quote Isaiah the 60th chapter. It says uh, the earth is full of darkness, man. You know, darkness to people. All right, but hey, through the spirit of power, Yahweh Hashem al and we got light, and we got this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The pursuing the Isaiah, the thirty-third chapter, the sixth verse, it says it's going to be the stability of our times, because we coming into some hey crazy times, dark here, times, man. Yeah. dark times, man. It's a gross darkness. It's like a gross darkness to be, man. And, and verse six it says, therefore, let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Do 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 us a favor. I'll start at start at verse three. Okay. And just and just read up. Okay. Uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 For when they shall say peace and safety Then sudden destruction cometh upon them As travail upon a woman with child And they shall not escape mm -hmm. You know 
and that's what's hey, that's what's about to happen. This is peace and safety. Look at the look, look at everybody, especially our people. You know, they're in the they're in the spirit of, of, of mirth, man. They're in the spirit of partying up, but not knowing the dollar's about to crash. Not knowing that Esau Edom about to come out with their mark, uh to see him, man. All right. Not knowing hey, all these calamities is about to come uh, upon them, man. That's why I said sudden destruction is about to come upon them, man. And they shall not escape, man. Because yeah, yeah, the truth is equated to us a fight. You know, so if somebody just run up on you and just hit you and you and you and you ain't uh you ain't expect to hit, then that's most of the time that person will get knocked out, you know, you're gonna be unconscious, but the fight is coming, you know, we we we, we got our stance up, you know what I'm saying? We ready, we ready, we ready to fight, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of these people they just they living it up. You know, so when that when the Lord comes as a thief, he comes with the haymaker, you know, they gon they gon they gonna get knocked out. Yep. You know? Yeah. Hey, the scriptures say, uh, put on the armor of light. Yeah, right. We gotta, that's like the brother said, we, you know, uh, we we fully equipped because of Ephesians, the sixth chapter, man. Right. All right, we fully equipped with the, the, the sword of the spirit and the shield of faith, man, and the helmet of salvation. Right. See, brothers is coming in the spirit of Yahweh, watch me on shot, bro. See, when you got men up here that's going out uh, on the faith, the scriptures say in uh, Revelation, they got the victory over, over the beast and the mark and the image by what? The blood of the lamb and the word of his testimony. So we covered. We covered by the blood of Yahweh Shemir Al Shai, man. The blood of Yahweh Shai, man. You see? That's the spirit. And that's why they about to come down. It said he saw Edom shall come down with what? Uh, with great wrath, right, man. You know, they're going to come out with great wrath because they, hey, the elect is not going to, uh, you're not going to be able to waver the elect's faith in these times, man. You know, the elect is going to stand on it and say, hey, they love not their lives until death, man. You know, so that's why Esau Edom is gonna do the uh, atrocities or the draconian things he's about to do because the elect is gonna hey, stand firm, man. Right. You know, that's that, and that's that standard, All right? Because what Esau coming to get, the, he want to get the, uh, the faith, man. Right. You know, but see, Jake don't got no faith. That's why the scriptures tell us to what? Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, man. Right. Because Jake is unfaithful, bro. See, brothers, we're gonna get the victory through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai. We're part of that number because of the faith, y'all. Right. The scriptures say, "Shall he find faith?" That's what's gonna stand in that time. Right. Bros that really believe wholeheartedly in Yahweh Shem Shai. Right. Everybody else is gonna uh, faint. The scriptures say, uh, if, that, "If thou faint in the dead eye verse, that strength is small." Jake don't got no faith in Yahweh Shem Shai, bro. But the victory is gonna come by the faith. That's why we out here, man. So when he attacked. You come in carnally, but the scripture says standards shall be lifted. Why? Because spiritual power. Bros is believed. Bros faith is gonna be activated, channeled in that time. That's why the Lord is putting us through these minor uh, 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 adversities, man. Because when the true adversity comes, that's when our faith is gonna be activated. You no, know? and people are actually gonna see that. Why he said uh, Isaiah the 13th chapter, a man is gonna be more precious and fine gold. You're gonna actually know that these men, their value in that that time is gonna skyrocket, man. It's not going to be about uh, uh, fashion in that time. It's not going to be how tight your jeans is in that time, man. You know, how many bitches you got on IG following you, bro? It's going to be, do you believe you how about you shine that day? Or you don't, bro. That's yeah. what's going to stand. Right now, it's kind of like spiritual. It's like a boot camp. You know, um, we, the Lord's preparing us uh, um, for, for, for the battle. You know, just like even in uh, Esau's military, what they do, they put you through the, that boot training. They, 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 they get you in that uh, tip-top shape. And then they then they send you out, you know. So that's what the Lord is doing to us now, you know, putting us through these trials and tribulations, all right, uh, increasing our faith, boosting us, uh, boosting us up in, in the spirit, you know, because we're going through adversity, you know. But hey, these people, they 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 don't know what adversity is like, you know. So when the hour of temptation comes, you know what? A lot of these people they go they just gonna bow their knee to the image of all. You know? Hey, hey, read um read the next verse on that on that second what's that first Thessalonians? Uh, verse four. four. Verse 4? Yep. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 4. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Right, so that day is not going to overtake us as a thief because we, you know, we're preparing us ourselves spiritually here, man. Like you were saying, you know, we're in our stance, okay? You know, we, we know the hit has come. We know the he about to swing, okay? So we're preparing ourselves, you know, spiritually for that, for that, for that smack, okay? So that day is not going to overtake us as a thief, us brethren. All right, because really talking about the elect, the hopeful elect, we have, you know, you know, we consider ourselves at least of the hopeful elect. Uh, that day is not going to overtake us as a thief because what we're watching, all right, we're praying, we we're hastening the day, okay. But you got it, bros. Yeah, that's right. And when you were, uh, read uh, Ezekiel the twenty-first chapter in the NLT, it speaks about a time of testing. 
which is about to come upon the nation of Israel. And the time of testing is when, hey, that seed was about to come out, man. Like the brother say, hey, we're staying ready now, so we don't got to get ready, man. A lot of our people think you just going to be able to, hey, uh, get ready in no time fast. Now you got to be uh, mentally preparing yourself right now, man. You know? This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. The last for that day, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 5, it says, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Right, you know, because hey, Jeremiah 28 and 8, the prophet that has been before me and before the of old prophesied about what? War, evil, pestilence. You know, and that's what the that's what the man of the Lord is out here to do, to, to, to tell you the um the, the, the weather, all right? Because really what we are, we are spiritual uh weathermen, man. All right, and what we saying is for sure. You know, it might not happen today, it might not happen tomorrow or next week, but one of these days, one of these years, all right, one of these months, this shit gonna pop off, you know? It says, verse six, ask ye now and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his, <coughs> excuse me, with his hands on his loins? Right, you know, because when a woman's giving birth, you know, when, when she clenching on her stomach, she having um, contractions, you know, and that's how that's how it's gonna be for these niggas in the time of Jacob trouble. You gonna think that they going through birth pain? You gonna think that they having contractions? No, nah, but that's the Lord judging their ass. Man. Right, and that's why we catching the hell now, so that way we don't have to catch that when Jake uh, uh, go through that shit, man. Because that same scripture it says, "But he shall be saved out of it, man." So we catching the hell right now, so we don't gotta go through the hell in the future. What's that in Sirach or the thirty nine chapter? Yeah, three, no. All right, it speaks about uh, uh these things. If somebody wanna get it, I, 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 I know I, I, you I, got some hot too. Like you hold it. But, uh, but bro, we're, brothers gotta really, you know, we bring these, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, but we bring these scriptures out. But dog, the shit that we go through, the shit that we go through together, you see what I'm saying? The hell we catch together, dog. We go through this shit, bro, so we don't gotta go through it when all hell break loose and there is no love. Because the scriptures speak about the love of many waxing cold. The only love is gonna be the brotherly love in these last days, dog. Everything else is gonna be division. You see what I'm saying? It's gonna be nothing but sedition. You know, it's gonna be every man for himself. It's gonna be a doggy dog world out here, man. But see the brotherhood, the unity that we show, the, the unity that's presented on the planet Earth is gonna stand stiffly in that time. Everything else is not gonna stand, bro. You know, she gonna leave you in that day because you gonna fold up. You gonna take the chill. See, that's the shit we coming down to the wire, man. But what's gonna stand stiffly in that time is men of the Lord. You understand? And you people gonna see that, man, off camera, man. When shit is real and direct, man. You uh, see, camera. that's what we um, catch the hell we go through, man. The water out of the car. All right, that's why we go through the hell we go through, bro. Cause the shit that's coming, bro. You gotta go to Lord. If, if you ain't got this, bro, you ain't been showing no charity. How you gonna show charity to you? Right. If you hey, if you ain't showing no love to the body, how you gonna show love to you, man? Right. See what I'm saying? That's what the Lord is doing. He he's showing that, bro. We we going through this shit together. See, so we can leave, bro. Cause the time coming, bro. People gonna. They gonna come flux, fluxing, bro. Mad flux of believers is gonna come, bro. All right, and we gotta be able to stand for something. That's why we going through the fire now, dog. That's right. So that way, when this shit really do come, man, gonna bro, just say man's heart's gonna fade in that day. Hell, you know. And at that time, saw Michael stand up the great prince instead of for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to the even to that same time at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found reigning in the book all right going back to what the brother brought out in Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7 man it's going to be so bad that the Lord will have you know a spiritual intervention you know to protect these certain men man or the whole for elect man That's right all right it's gonna get real bad out here man it's gonna be a lot of death and destruction man and pestilence man okay to what and if you're not on the Lord good side, man, your ass is grass, man. Okay, that's why we put forth our best works, man. That's why we go to stand the secret place on side, man. That's why we be in brotherly and short charity, man. Because we want to be in good case when, when these times come. Yeah, down. man. Bros is, hey, bros gonna have, bros gonna be able to minister in so many ways, bro. You never knew this brother was souped up in this, but he, he ain't gonna, you know? Oh, I know this person that got data. Come on, bro, we all gonna get, be beneficial in that time. You know? You, know, you don't know how the Lord got this thing set up, man. All right, because the scriptures say his thoughts is not our thoughts. So the most high moving on a whole nother level. We already, if we those men, we already going to overcome. No. Nope. All right. It's going to be beautiful how the Lord got this thing. Because I'll be meditating on that a lot. 
we go heavy on the prophecies, of course, of death and destruction, but the scriptures say a greater deliverance too, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we talking about some great magnificent. Hey, the scripture say the most side of the book of Psalms is a man of, of wondrous works. He only do wondrous things. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm saying? So it's gonna be wonderful how the Lord deliver the elect, man. Hey, well, uh, this is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter three. Verse 3, that's why we start at verse 4. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yeah. yet is their hope Watch full the of play. immortality. Yeah, because this punishment we're going through right now. Grab it real quick. Oh, you know, we die daily. Right? It's a punishment, dog. Being not able, bro, here it is. You got the top knowledge on the planet Earth, dog. You don't get, you don't get no play. And if you don't, and if you do, she used up. She abused. Uh, she lived again. Right? And she need you. That's why she don't need you, but she needs you. You know what I'm saying? Then you go on funds because you give me your funds away, throwing shit, you know. Then, then the whole time you still gotta manage yourself and conduct yourself as a man of Lord of the earth. Like, dog, this is, bro, we being punished constantly, chastised by the Lord, corrected. Despise not the chastening of the Lord, because that's real love. Why? Because we get ready to be immortal. You get ready to get it open up to everything, man. Open up to other planets, dog. Open up to uh 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 uh, uh intergalactic wine, man. Drinking with the sun himself, getting crown bombed, talking with him, chopping it up with you, saluting you, getting saluted by your hollow shy King David, man. See, you know? And if I may, brother, Revelation the twenty first uh, chapter in the seventh verse, they say that he that overcometh shall inherit all things. Right. So right now the Lord is hey, putting us through the fire. You know, like the brother said, because we're about to inherit. It, man. Right. But it says, what is that in uh, Second Ezra, the seventh chapter? You know, if a man doesn't roughly paraphrase it, if he doesn't go through it, how is he going to be able, be able to right. inherit it? Right. You know. But uh, to continue on this wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, this is verse five, and it says, "And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, for the Most High proved them and found them worthy for Himself." Like right. you said, a little chastised because the Almighty already got the victory. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's already accomplished, bro. He got who, whoever his man are, we just hope to be a part of that number. That's why we run into obtain that salvation, that mercy. But it's already done. Whoever that whoever that blood is covering, it's already a victory. We just hoping to be a part of that number, bro. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because the scriptures say, uh, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him and that hope in his mercy. You know? We just hope to be a part of that number. And it said, yet yeah, being a little chastised, dog. A little chastised. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord still gonna make a way for us to, uh, uh, to be able to be beneficial in Jacob's trouble. Mm. See what I'm saying? Because the scriptures say the Lord gonna deliver our woman in childbearing. Bro, like, bro, the Lord get ready to, the scriptures say ain't gonna be no more tears, bro. The Lord get ready to comfort us in the times we coming into, bro. Great mercy is getting ready to be shown, bro. That's why we going through the shit right now. That's why shit's supposed to look bad for you, bro. Because it's gonna be right for you. Shit going so left for you in these in these times. Why? Because it's gonna go right for us, bro. Why? Because of the sacrifice we're putting in, man. So yet being a little chaz, it said what? Being a little chastised, what? It's alright. It says. Being a little chastised, man. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 5 again. It says, and have been, and having been a little chastised, uh -huh. they shall be greatly rewarded. Greatly rewarded, man. So we ain't gonna need no vets. All right, ain't gonna be. We don't need uh subscribers, bro. We don't need clout. There will be no such, such thing as a clout chase, bro. We gonna be. We gonna be those men again. Lord's will back on the top, bro. Our woman is gonna respect that authority again, man. Through the spirit of power, how about smell shot? Real men is getting ready to be set on the planet Earth. So we're gonna be greatly rewarded. And then the scripture said in Isaiah the sixtieth chapter, man. All right, the kings shall be thy nursing fathers. Roughly paraphrasing the scriptures, there's going to be a continual employment of issuing in, bringing in. The scriptures said, uh, Psalms, the second chapter, if you didn't read, which you people don't do, all right? Ask of me and I will give thee the heathen for thy inheritance. You nations belong to us. The scriptures say the earth was made for us, man, all right? But we have to go through this fire, man. The, uh, the proving grounds, man. Hey, you, you, get, you gotta read uh, verse four. Okay. Yeah, you gotta read verse four. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three. Uh, read verse four. Yep, yeah, read, read verse four. You read it, you read it once already? Uh, read oh, yeah, read it again. I didn't catch it, my bad. For though they be, they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Yeah, man, you see that? Because in order to gain all these great things, you're gonna have to be, you're gonna have to live for a period, of, you know, an extended period of time, all right, in, in eternity, all right, immortal, being a mortal being, okay, to have all these things that are all these great gifts that the Lord is promising, promising us, 
crumbs in the elect, all right, you're gonna have to live forever, okay? So, you know, our hope, yeah, we're going through all this hell, but where's our hope? Our hope is in immortality, our hope is in the kingdom of heaven, the glory that's promised unto the unto the kingdom of heaven. You got it. Say, in, a, in the sight of men, because the scriptures say, uh, this is a, we are a spectacle unto the world, man. Right. We made a sport of, just like in the time of uh, 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 Stephen, man. See? Yeah, 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 I'm trying to hang out. Right. I think I'm coming back over this. But what, man? He's one of the elect. See? You you gotta be punished in the sight of men, bro. That's that's showing that you you sir, you help us now shy. You're not of the world. Did not you have a shy go through it, man? But what? When he gave the spirit of the temple rape, man, then they took him serious. Oh, surely he was one of those men. It's done now, man. It's finished. That's why when he come back, he coming as that lion. He came as that lamb already, man. That's what two people get ready to see. True power, man. The most high, only begotten son. The fathership, man. Second is 13. True power. That's what you people get ready to see. Because you people think power, all right? You people think power is driving fast, man. Which it is. But it ain't no ain't no power co connected, all right? To your house. It's no, it's no power. I like like your help watching me all shot, and that's what he's getting ready to show. True power, man. Right. You see? True power. Isaiah 66 and 15. Somebody get that, man. Go into the chariots real quick, man. Second is 6, 66 and 15. Because uh, a lot of shit gotta be destroyed, man. It's Isaiah chapter 66. And 15, that's right, man. Verse 15 it says, For, for behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. Yeah, the Lord is coming back with fire, man. See? That's the only uh, 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 cleansing agent you people need is fire, man. Eternal cleansing, man. See? And with his chariots like a whirlwind. So the Lord gonna show you what true power is. You see? The Lord coming back with that base. You see? All right? Most high will be respected again on the planet Earth. The scriptures say, barely he is a power that hideth himself. Just because he hid himself don't mean he don't exist. But he get ready to show you he exists after, after death by pain. Go ahead. It says, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. And his rebuke with flames of fire, man. This out of the Bible, man. The Lord is getting ready to rebuke you people with flames of fire. Why do you think there's so many challenge sites? So-called UFOs, bro. That's the Lord's angels, man. That's the ministers. And they all throughout the scriptures in the Old Testament. How do you think uh, Alicia, all right? And Elijah got beamed up, man. How do you think the Lord got uh, beamed up, man? How do you think we leaving? You understand? It's just saying a twink of an eye, man. All right? You people are living amongst the, the men, Lord's will. And it's gonna be manifested in that time, made clear who the Lord is dealing with, man, on the planet Earth. Cause he's not getting off his throne to come speak with two low level individuals, man. The Lord says, surely he will do nothing. He reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets, man. Go ahead. Con, that was it on that? Isaiah 66, Con. This is Malachi three and two. But who may abide the day of his coming? Mm -hmm. And who shall stand when he appears? Yeah, so who gonna stand when the Most High sing his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai? Who's gonna be able to stand? Somebody get uh, Revelation 19, man. Going to the war in heaven. In 2nd Exodus 13, man. From the top. It says, For he is like a refiner's fire. He is like a refiner's fire, man. You see? All right, and the Most High, and the brother just read it. The Most High, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, coming with fire, and his chariots like a whirlwind, man, to render his anger and his fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, man. All right, go ahead. In the fuller's soul. Go ahead. Is more? That's it. Hey, so the Lord is getting ready to clean you, man. Clean you up. You see? Go ahead. Get that uh, 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 Revelation 19, Bob Kishaw. That war in heaven. This Revelation 19 and 11. Mm -hmm. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. That white horse is Yahweh Shai, man. White. All right? Pure. All right? Purity, man. See? Because ain't nothing out here pure, man. But the words of Yahweh Shai, man. 
All right? And we just hoping to be a part of that number. That's why the scripture say, in their mouth was found no doubt. All right? What's making us, what's going to make us uh, pure in that day is these words, man. We sticking to the word, man. All right? Go ahead. When you're really looking at it through the spirit, it's, uh, it's really saying uh, pure power. Yep. You know, because horse symbolize power. That's right. That's right. You know? mm -hmm. Pure yes. power. Yep. And that's all we talking about is true power, man. True power. Mm -hmm. See? Amen. All right, true power, man, and it's gonna come with rebukes, a flames of a uh, flame of fire, man. The Lord gonna get His respect, man. Sir. After death by pain, and those in that—that's why we going through the fire right now, dog. The scriptures say, "Acceptable man in the furnace of adversity." The Most High can only prove you through adversity, affliction, trials, tribulations, the hour of temptation, man. See, that's the things that we, that's the things we're talking about, man. Seriousness, man. See, getting tried on your highest level, man. Getting proven, man. To see what you are. All right, go ahead. Started from the top, Revelation 19 and 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he set, and he that sat upon him was was called faithful and true. Faithful and true. That's how it shine, man. He's faithful and he's true. His word is true, man. Somebody get John uh 16, man. I'm sorry, John 14, where it says uh uh. Uh, the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Baba Kasha, even the spirit of truth, I will not leave you comfort. Je Je John 16. John 16 and 14. Baba Kasha, man. Let's go. You help us, man. Shine, get ready to show you people he is real, man. He exists. The scripture said, How could the second chapter go and tarry? Wait for it. It will surely come. It will not tarry. The vision is set for an appointed time. Now it is speaking. The scripture said, the end is shall speak and not lie. Esau Edom is speaking. His horns is getting ready to come out and show you that he is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And he's getting ready to devour. Psalms of 10 chapter, man. You see, he's getting ready to devour the poor of our people. But the Lord said he's going to be with his remnant, a little sanctuary. All right? Okay, go ahead. John 14 and 17. Mm -hmm. Even the spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. Start, well, start at 16, Bubba Shaw. Con. This is John. Because it said 14, 4 and true, right? Go ahead. John 14 and 16. And I will pray the Father, yep. and he shall give me, give you another comforter. Yeah, so, so Yahweh Shai put up a prayer for you often, man. That's why we out here, bros. That prayer that Yahweh Shai put up, and we all, this is proof. We witnesses of this scripture coming to pass. Go ahead. That he may abide with you forever. That he may abide with you forever. That's the comfort. That's the scriptures, man. Why do you think we up here boldly? Boldly. What's the strength? What's the bold? What's the confidence? The words, man. The scriptures say, greater is he that is in thee than he that is in the world. The greatness in us, what make us great is the word. Yahweh Shah himself, man. The scriptures say he is the word. And the word was made flesh. And he shall be in you and abide with you, man. You see? Go ahead. And I will pray mm -hmm. the Father, and he shall give you another comforter yep. Go ahead. that he may abide with you forever. And he may abide with you forever, brothers. And to the end. All right? To the end, man. Yahweh Shai going to show you he with you all the way to the end. When ain't nobody that he with you, man. You see? That's why we got the names, man. Proverbs 18 and 10. You see, a strong tower, the righteous ran into it and is safe. We're in a safe haven, man. We're in a secret chamber of the Lord, man. We're in a secret place, man. All right, go ahead. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Even the spirit of truth. We have the spirit of truth, man, whom the world cannot receive. Matthew 13. You people don't understand what we're speaking about because the mysteries of the kingdom was given unto us. You understand? You go into that word mystery, which the brothers, we did a beautiful lesson through the spirit. Mysterion, it means initiated, man. See? You have to be initiated through the spirit. The Lord got to be dealing with you on a certain level, man. He got to be building you up. You see? All right? He got to walk with you, man. The Lord ain't walking with you people, man. That's why you're on your phones all day. Got no life. Bugged out your mind. Living a nine to five and thinking you straight off a check. You sleep. 
You ain't got eternal life. You ain't got your outside. You done. You finished. You through. Hey, hey, the only thing these people have faith in is, is that paycheck they, at, at the end of the week. Yeah, you lose. Hey, you don't, you don't, hey, you don't check ADP. ADP and you don't see you got paid. You people gonna bug out. That's why this shit finna go cash is on you. A thief in the night coming to you people, man. Shit right. finna go digital on you, man. Right. All right, it's all finna get digital. All right. <laughs> they're gonna get. They're gonna be with it. They're gonna be with it. No. Because what you said, it's gonna come as a thief in the night. They're gonna be with it. They ain't yep. gonna know they're taking the mark. Yep. They're gonna think like, oh, well, this is a lot easier. You know, this is actually a good idea. You know, why don't we do this? Why don't we implement this sooner in our life? All we gotta do is get that. Oh shoot, this that. Hey, now we we aside. They're gonna think it's cool yep. being a cyborg. You know, you know, uh, Issa does everything with gradualism. So it's just gonna slowly uh, get into it soon, sooner or later. Oh, the, Cash is gonna be obsolete, okay. And you can believe, oh, who uses cash, okay? And then next thing you know, uh, they're gonna be bringing in the next, the next phase, man, which is gonna be that, that um, that RFID. And see here, baby. Yeah. Go ahead. And fourteen and nine is on you. If you take that uh, M R A K, uh, M A R K, the C here, which all you people, majority of you people, gonna take that device because shit finna go digital. Tell them what it you is. Take that Revelation yeah. fourteen and nine. Somebody get that real yeah. quick. Somebody get Revelation 14 and 9 real quick, man. If you take this device, you get ready to be destroyed by thermonuclear uh, destruction, man. Fire that's coming out here from the, uh, the scripture saying 2nd as the 16th, for strong as this right hand that's been at the bowl. That's right. If I can add real quick, you know, that's why the scriptures like brothers is beautifully going in on that Jake that don't have this truth, all right, is going to bow to Esau will because for one, they don't got the whole armor. Right. That's why the scripture said, put on the whole armor that ye may be able to, uh, uh, Stand against the wiles of the devil. Okay, his trickery. You know, like the elder brother was speaking about. They're gonna break quick because they're not gonna have that spiritual arm. They're not gonna have that knowledge and that wisdom and the Holy Spirit and faith to, to be delivered from that. You know? Go ahead. Revelation 14 now. Mm -hmm. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 9. Read it aloud, brother. Bob Kashaw, so they can know, so they can know this is these words is faithful and true. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 9. Uh -huh. And the third angel followed them, yep. saying with a loud voice. With a loud voice, go ahead. If any man worship the beast if in any, his image. If any man worship the beast, they don't eat you. Go ahead. In, in, in his image, right? Even my supremacy, right? Go ahead. And receive his mark and in receive, his forehead. And receive his mark. Go ahead. In his forehead or in his head. Uh -huh. The same shall drink the wine of the wrath of the Most High. Yeah, the same must drink of that wine of the wrath of the Most High. And how is that wine coming? How is that destruction? How is that wrath coming? Somebody get uh, Jeremiah 50. I have laid a snare for thee around uh, the 40, 40th uh, verse. All right? Uh, the Lord have opened up his armory around there, Baba Kasha. Hey, even when you think about it, when they came out with the, uh, the, the vax, you know, a lot of our people went and took it. So just imagine the shit here, man. Hey, and they shows you that on uh, uh, the beginning of uh, I Am Legend. Yeah. You no? Know? How everybody, uh, when shit started, Getting uh shit started, people start bugging out, shit got real. They, they wanted to get on that on that uh temple. Yeah, on right? that They're trying to get it. Yeah, they were scanning. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you ain't got that uh device, see, that's how you know Esau eat him, bro. He's a hey man. Bro, he gonna cause some uh chaos, bro. Order out chaos. Order out chaos, bro. And a lot of you, that's why we up, bro. That's why we going through what we go through. You know what I'm saying? That's why we go through what we go through, so you can be able to scan when shit get real. You know what I'm saying? At least we got some, we got something to, hey, we got something to stand on, bro. The faith. You know what I'm saying? So that way when it get hard, you like, damn, he brought me through all this. Hell no. Nah. Call hello, you how about me out shot? You no? Know? And then especially prophesying and talking about it and watching it come to pass? Come on, bro. How can you not believe? See? Hold on, finish off that. Uh, that was it on uh, 14 and 9, right? Okay. All right, come. Okay, uh, Revelation yeah. chapter 14, verse 10. Okay, the same shall come drink come the of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture. Without mixture, poured out. So this destruction is coming. Yeah, all right, camp today, it's so. gonna be poured out, man. The scriptures say, you can, leave that. You can, can any man out. turn back? A uh, lion, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. All right. Hey, a, a plague is sent, and who? Hey, who can't turn it back, man? So when the Lord actually bring these new plagues, who gonna drive them away? Who? Yo, Tesla can't ain't driving this boy away, bro. On that of your clout, none of that, bro. If you do not got your house washing machine on your side, you're not making it, man. You, bro, you gotta have covered in the times we're coming into, man. You see? Go ahead. Into the cup of his indignation. Into the cup of his indignation, man. Isaiah 54 and 16. The Lord created this destruction, all right? 
All right, for him, hey, he 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 created created the wicked for a damn evil, man. He created this for you people, man, for the wicked, man. He saw Edom and two thirds of our people that's joined hand and that's gonna take this device. All right, these plagues is on your ass, man. Go ahead. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. Fire and brimstone, man. That's why the scripture says in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, as in the days of Noah, these are all examples for those that shall live ungodly, man. Right. And that's you people, man. You see? And you see what happened. All right? And that's 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 nothing but what's going on here, man. Sodomy, man. You see? Laws getting pushed, man. Masculinity getting attacked, man. Men and Lord getting attacked, man. See? But you got alphabets, got more laws than me. And us, man. You see? That man has to be destroyed. Revelation the 18th chapter, man. This man has to be destroyed, man. All right? Go ahead. In the presence of the holy angels. In the presence of the holy angels. Go ahead. And in the presence of the Lamb. And in the presence of the Lamb. So you're going to be destroyed if you take that device in the presence of Yahweh Shai Mashiach himself. Right. Because you did not believe. Oh, ye of little faith. Shall I find faith? Where is the faith, bro? All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. Right. All right, that was it, right? You say you got something? Go ahead. This uh, Ephesians 6 and 11, put on, put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Mm -hmm. All right, what's that armor? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, the wiles going into the trickery. You know, and so we not in the state of uh, being deceived. All right, we, we see why Bill Gates is buying up all the farmland. We see why the train derailments. We see why the food plants are uh, getting set on fire. All right, we see why uh, you go into a store, uh, uh, you go to check out, uh, it has a sticker, only accept, uh, only accept debit cards mm -hmm. or, or Apple or Google Pay. You know, so you, you handing people cash is really, is really outdated, you know, but, but we already know what's coming down the pipeline. All right? Yeah. Verse 12, it says, when we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Yeah, so the real fight is not against uh, flesh and blood, man. So that's why the scriptures say no man at war can take it himself with the affairs of his life, man. See, the real fight is spiritual, man. All right? The real fight is uh, striving for, this, for, for, for that crown, man, that crown of immortality, man. See, the strive, the fight, the fight of faith. Apostle Paul said it best, man. Fight the good fight of faith. And he said what? Lay hold on eternal life, man. See what I'm saying? Go ahead. It says, but against principalities, mm -hmm. against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Yeah, the rulers of darkness was we was going into earlier. That's why I should say arise and shine for that light is come. Because these people is what? Gross darkness covered the people, bro. But the scriptures say the Lord have poured the spirit of deep sleep on these people. But we not asleep. You see? We ain't got to worry about uh, all that darkness, man. Why? Because we just say put on the armor of light, man, in Isaiah 51st chapter, man. Go ahead. It says, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. That's why you think clout chasing, all right? All right? Or, 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 or having the baddest bitch or the fastest car, the, the nicest fashion, all right? It's top priorities. Bro, you've been, you've been, you have a demise, bro. You have, you are in a delusion. You are in a deep sleep. You are in darkness. Indoctrinized by the, the so called white man, he so eating the serpent himself. All right, go ahead. Verse 13 Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High. Right, so the Lord said, Take on the whole armor, the same armor King David had, man. He didn't need a physical armor because it wasn't physical. Bro, he had to go up what, against Goliath, which was future a prophecy of what? Us going up against the modern day Goliath, man. Who, which is who? Esau Edom. So we don't got physical, we putting that physical shit off. I don't need guns on me, bro. We got the faith. See? We going out with the faith. And the stone being your house shy, it's only gonna take one time. See? Right to the dome. He out of there, man. And if that stone also in uh in the book of Daniel, yeah, second chapter. Yep, yep, that's right. Yeah. That stone, man, that great millstone, man. Yeah, yeah. In Revelation 18 chapters. Yeah. You see? Go ahead. A little bit more. It says that you may be able to stand yep. against the slot here. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Yep. You know, so this is how we're gonna be able to overcome. Only through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Bible. Because we read uh the book of Psalms, the 33rd chapter, it says, A mighty man should not be delivered by much strength. All right, Psalms the 44th chapter says, Um, 
thou shalt not trust in thy bow. And what's the modern day bow you got? Right. You know, so none of these things gonna be able to save you because say say you got a bug out bag, say you got uh say you got guns, but how 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 you going how you gonna beat that when you got missiles coming down? The only way you're gonna be able to escape is the mercy of the Lord. The scriptures say that 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 um Thieves can break through and steal that. Right, right. You know, yep, you you, yep. Gonna, you have faith in something like that. Yep. Okay, yeah, here it is. You you all your you know, yep. you've been planning for this. You got all this extra ammo, all this food and rations, yep. and then here it comes, and then someone the first day someone come break through and yep. take it and steal it right in front yep. of your face. Oh, you oh, you know, get up oh, you know, oh you maybe you left it at home and you're yeah. not at home and, and all shit hits the fan, you're not even at home. So you forgot the blinky? Oh yeah, you oh, got man. it. You out of there, dog. Yeah. On oh, I-95 in traffic without the blinking. Oh, <laughs> dog. I got it. <laughs> this is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 3. For though we walk it, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down the strongholds. But mighty through the most high through the pulling down the strongholds. This doctrine is true. It's it's, it's uh erupting lies, man. Lies, bro. You see? It's being exposed. That's why, what's that, Isaiah uh, 47? He said, I will discover thy sins, thy nakedness shall be seen. All right? Well, hey, in 2 Thessalonians, the Lord said, uh, uh, he said, uh, uh, they shall consume him with the spirit of his mouth. The spirit of his mouth is the prophets. So this truth, the, the mighty of uh, 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 breaking down the strongholds, man, this truth is consuming lives, man. See, this light is shining in darkness, comprehended the not, man, like this. What the fuck is this? Because like how did Esau um, conquer this conquer this land? How did he conquer the whole world? Lots. Really through through his uh through his sword and also deceit. That's a part of his uh that's a part of his sword, his his mouth. All right, it says it was smoother than butter. Mm -hmm. All right, that death at her. So what we're doing is uprooting all the lies. You know, everything that Esau has established this uh kingdom with, we uprooting it. Nah, they, the name of the Lord ain't Jesus. He ain't white. All right, uh uh Christianity, uh you know, Easter, all the bullshit that, that he has put on our people, we are rooting it with the light. Because the light is, is power. The spirit of the Lord is power. You know? And that's what Jake Fitter realized. How much this knowledge, this truth, how how valuable how valuable and how powerful it is. You know, that's why the scripture also say what? Thy skirts is, is has been living. Um, yeah, it's supposed to with that light. You know, the rope just scattered when you shine that light. And that's why the scriptures say the nations are mad. Because now everybody know that you're a devil, dog. You got the, bro, the, the, you got the UR reaching uh, his level. Hey, the BRICS nations, they gain the nations uh, daily, man. See? Hey, the dollar bill, as you know, is, is getting ready to be a thing of uh, not. Like, like the brother said, that shit outdated. But Esau getting ready to bring in something that's digital, and a lot of you people won't clout. And you want to be somebody, and you're going to fall right into his demise and be destroyed right with him. That's right. See, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, man. Right. All right, go ahead. This, uh, Psalm 44, uh, starting at 4. Thou art my king, O, o God, command deliverances for Jacob. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. You know, so it's through Yahweh that, that we're going to conquer our enemies. Okay, because, you know, the Lord compares us as a world. Right? 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 So, so without Yahweh Shah, you know, we don't have that same strength. That's why every time we went into war and we was uh, uh, being disobedient to the Heavenly Father, what happened? All right, we got we got put down. All right, but when we trusted the Lord and, and obeyed His word, then we was able to tread upon our enemies with ease, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, what's that, Joshua? Yeah. All right, have not I uh, commanded thee to be strong, but only very courageous, man? Right? These words, man, it's how we all gonna, gonna get the victory over the beast. You see? Go ahead. That's all right. It says, through thy name we tread, right. it says, when we tread them under that rise up against us, right? Through the name, all right? That, that's how you know that the, the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son is important, okay? Because you ain't treading upon your enemies. You ain't treading upon Esau, Edom, call on Jesus, right? all right? You know, you, Esau, Edom, he gonna take you out with the quickness, all right? But with the name Yahweh Shai, the scripture says, uh, everything that's uttered in Hebrew, it's, it's more it's more power roughly for more strength yep. and there's testimony brothers make testimonies all the time you know uh you might be going you might be sleep sleep paralysis what esau calls it you know the only thing that's gonna get that demon off of you is calling on the names of your how about shaman shah you can try to fight it you can try to get up you know that that demon is strong but once you start calling names of your how about shaman shah he even said
It's the devil tremble, you know? So that's the only way that you can overcome, you know? All right, quick preacher. Acts 4 and 12 it says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So you gotta have the name of you gotta have the name of of, of uh Yahushua, right? all right he saves he delivers okay so you're not calling upon the name that's going to save you or deliver you no what are you doing okay he saw no power in the name that, that, that's why that's why he took away that name and really it was the most high all right how about shai took away his name from the earth but hey that's why he saw uh, he okay with you calling on jesus all right he okay with you calling on yahweh you all right he okay with you calling on yahshua Soon when you start um, standing boldly, stiffly for for the name of Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai is a problem, man. You consider a threat now, you know? Yeah, that's how we got saved out of the first meeting. That's right. That's right. That's I'm not going This is Zephaniah three verse twelve. Zephaniah verse twelve. Zephaniah three verse twelve. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people. They shall trust in the name of Yahweh, Bashim El Shai. You know, so that's why it says Romans 8 chapter, the spirit of wisdom, our spirit, that we are the children of the Most High, because we're calling upon his name with true sincerity. It's for to say, he also said himself, you know, he that believe upon me as the scripture says, the scripture said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You know, so we're going to get these impostors that claim to be our, uh, our nationality. What are they doing? They're not bringing our precepts. They out there having Tel Aviv, you know, uh, pride parades, you know. We're going to again, you know, the Lord's people, they're going to be a poor and afflicted people. That's why it says in Matthew chapter, uh, blessed are the poor for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, you know? But uh, Zephaniah 3 verse 13, it says, the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. And that goes, Revelation talks about those virgins, you know, those that, you know, uh, weren't defiled with women, you know, those faithful few that took heed unto the name of the Lord and, and trusted them in, in, in all the situations they go through, you know, especially time to take those trouble, you know? And that's how you know they're gonna be on the earth. It says that, you um, among men, right? Zephaniah 3 verse 13, the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. This shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. You know, we're feeding off of the words of the Lord. That's that table that was set. You know, we're eating, you know, going to our the Lord said, I just should not teach us. Right? We're raised up prophets in Babylon, right? To feed us knowledge, to feed us wisdom, all right? So we can be fed in the time to come. That's what the Lord talked about in Amos 8 chapter, a famine of the word. You know, you can be going into it, being caught and prepared, you can uh, store up the food, but if you don't have that food that doesn't perish, you're going to find yourself in trouble. You know? Uh, a couple more. Zephaniah 3, verse 14. Sing, O God of Zion, shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the, with all the heart, O God of Jerusalem. That's what you're doing. We're singing that new song. Right? Uh, I'll stop here at 15. Zephaniah 3, verse 15. Yahweh have taken away thy judgments. So that's going to early. We start off with Lamentation 4, how our name is accomplished. Right? We must the curse of being lifted up, up, lifted up off of us. That's why you see here us, you know, from every nation, you know, some of our tribes standing together, you know, in one mind, one body, you know. Uh, Zephaniah 3, verse 15, Yahweh has taken away thy judgments. He has cast out thy enemy. And that's what he's going to do. He's, uh, you know, because he's talking about bringing forth to light. That means, you know, pretty much being made manifest. He's getting judged, you know, bringing the forth to light. His deeds, all right, he got the spotlight on him. So the Lord is, uh, he says, in a negative position, done that unjustly, hurt them are prepared for the blood of the righteous. All right, you know, and that's what the Lord's doing. That's what he has his prophets to see. When you see prophets, it's bad news. If you have a kingdom and you're in power, and you see prophets being raised up, you know you're in trouble. Uh, your brother quoted earlier, Jeremiah 28 and 8, you know, so that's why he has a doomsday clock. Why are you in your own kingdom? You got a doomsday clock, you know, because you go into these elites, like all the elites of old, you know, every kingdom, they knew about the prophets. Nebuchadnezzar, you know, Cyrus, um, you know, Alexander the Great. You know, they all knew about the prophets, so you don't think the devil know about us at this time? You don't think they know about Edel Apostle Torah on down? They know what's going on. That's why they know what early two, but they told them 12. That short time, let me finish it. Uh, Zephaniah 3, verse 15, Yahweh have taken away thy judgments, yet have cast out thy enemy, the king of Israel, even Yahweh is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt see, thou shalt not see evil anymore. You know, so again, going to quote it, you know, in Village 24 chapter, no more curse, you know. That's what, again, going to the translation of a kingdom, you know, that's how you know this is a sign of us coming into power. You know, uh, Swap 10 chapter says the Lord's going to translate the kingdom from one people to the next. He quoted, um, it was a damn second chapter. It says, in the, in the days of these kings, the most high lift up a kingdom, raise up a kingdom. And that kingdom, as Yahweh says, within you. So us having a word, that's a sign of the kingdom being established. You know, that's why nothing come up against it. 
that's a sign of, of, of sovereignty. You no, know? can nobody speak against it? You no, know? that's again showing the Lord again. He has given us power, and that's his work. And everything else is going to follow suit. You know, when the time comes, you know, when ultimately Yahweh shall return. So, you know? This is Daniel 2 and 44. It says, And in the days of these kings shall the Most High of Heaven set up a kingdom. Yep, so you go into history, you know, it always is a kingdom in the background getting built up. You know, you think about before, uh, you know, the, 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 the Persians, the Medes came into power. You know, you had, you know, uh, you know back then uh, Babylon was in power. You know, it was a slow process before eventually they got strong enough to overcome uh, the Babylonians. You know, because all point of prophecy, how much more in this time? Because you go into this, this chapter, it goes to all the, the, the pretty much important kingdoms, where the kings will be under captivity of before our kingdom will come. You know, it says, we shall never be destroyed. Yep, so where is this kingdom at? It hasn't come to pass it, you know. So those people in our land are not the people, obviously, because why? Because no one's flowing onto, no one's keeping righteousness, and righteousness not being a stand on earth. We don't see our king Yahweh Shai and King David in power, you know. They don't call themselves Israelites; they call themselves Israelis. Why do you do that? Because the spirit is condemning them. They know they're not the people, you know. But they're not going to tell you that. So hey, the Lord raised up prophets who's going to tell you. But what Yahweh said, the prophets without honor is on house. So y'all not going to listen to us, all right? It says, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. Yeah, so no joint rulership. Esau is a dummy because here it is, you know, you got people uh, that you're oppressing got in, in better situation than you are. They got Ferraris, they got big old mansions. You know, that's that's a bad idea. You know, he should never let us out in shackles and shanks. You know, he should have kept us in that condition we're in, you know, uh, you know, under the foot, man, constant, heavy oppression, heavy, heavy, heavy yokes. But he gave us liberty. Ultimately, because the Lord, of course, he's in, he's, he's in control. We had to come out, you know, Liberties he gave him from our constitution, freedom of speech, just so we can go out and preach the word, you know. But at the, at the end of the day, you know, the Lord had this man to trick me the whole time, so you see he can't hold on to his kingdom because it was never his in the first place, you know. It says, But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Yeah, exactly. So that's what's coming, you know, the monument. You know, it says in the last days, most likely shall set up a kingdom, all right. You know, what you just read, you know, goes into that mount. In the last days, it's all talks about the time of the Lord. Kingdoms gonna come in the end, you know. We quoted earlier the second chapter. Jacob was the beginning, the beginning of it that followed. In the beginning, meaning forever, eternity. The Lord promised, you know, going to our forefathers, everlasting life, man. You know, this is what ultimately is coming to pass because the Lord is coming on in you know, on His word and watching this kingdom fall is a sign of that. You have to be able to. This is, uh, let's see that read it, okay? That's why Jacob is saying, "Where is the Lord? Where is He loved us?" Because you're not reading, you're not, you're not get, understanding the timeline, you know? Because the timeline is is playing out exactly how it's playing out. That's why we can see. Clearly, but to you, everybody else is a stone block. We're going to be even lives. It's the second, no, it's second Ezra. I'll go get you one. All right. It's the second Ezra, six, verse seven, in the KJV. Then, then answered I and said, What shall be the parting sender of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follows? Right, so these uh, questions. And it says, and he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of, beginning of it that followeth. This is in the G GNT, and it, and it reads, then I asked how long a period of time will divide the ages? When will the first age end? end and the next age begin. He answered, the inter interval will be no longer than that beginning between Abraham and Abraham. He was the grandfather of both Jacob and Esau. And when they were both Jacob was holding Esau Hill, Esau represented the end of this age and Jacob represented the beginning of the new age. If you go into that blessing, Esau and Jacob was the only people that received the blessing of the time of the earth. You know, so Esau, he has that right now. The banners of the new 
11, he's in power and he says he shall rule by the sword. So watching this nation, when he comes down, who's next is Jacob. That's the symbolic, uh, pretty much reputation of how it's this time. You know, that's what's happening right now. Last verse, it says, so if Jacob, if Jacob's hand is the beginning and Esau's hill is the end, do not try to find a space between it. In between. Exactly. So no other nation is talking about oh Esau Japheth. They don't fit prophecy. Okay. The Lord didn't even talk about Moab too much. We don't hear about the Ming dynasty. Because it don't matter. You know, the Lord talked about the important key points because there's a little book, all right, what we need to know in these last days to cook his mysteries up. You know, and it's been set up to the end, that's why I should say and it shall speak in our life. Everything's playing out how it's supposed to play out. Okay, and again the Lord talked about the prophets giving us a search. Hey, so you know our was on down, it's clear, man, how this thing's playing out and who knows who we are and who he is. Okay, and he's the devil. All right, so he's, again, that, that pretty much going into his early, because the skirt be lifted, he gets up, all right? You know, because it goes into Esau being the end. Why, why isn't, uh, was it Isaiah 16 chapter that says, who is he that coming from uh, Edom of Diagamus from Basel? That's a preacher prophecy. So I tell you, the Lord's going to come in the end when this man's in power, okay? He's ready, it was in Obadiah, you know, though he exalted himself uh, as, a, as an eagle, you know, so he's going to be in the height of his kingdom when he gets brought down, you know? Right. So who is that right now? It's, it's Esau, man, so what? Yep. And if I can add, the scripture also says in Revelation, the first chapter, that the Lord will come back uh, and face those who, who pierced him. So who pierced him? All right? It was the Romans, which their biblical nationality goes back to Esau Edom. You know? This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 10. Uh, starting at one, a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Yeah, so a wise judge, what is wisdom? You know, is it Proverbs one? Is it fear the Lord? You know, you can't be a wise king unless you fear the Lord, because without fear, you're not going to be prudent. Because fear keeps you alive, doesn't it? You know, uh, Mike Tyson talked about it was a custom model, right? Fear is a very important, you know, uh, instinct in a human body. Okay, really the human mind. Okay, because without the fear, hey, you're you're uh, complacent to danger. You know, so that's what Esau Edom is. He's complacent to danger. He says, no, no, not wicked is not wisdom. He's the counsel of sinners, not of prudence. He can't be prudent because he doesn't fear the Lord. You know, he doesn't take heed to what happens if you don't take uh, his word serious. That's why, you know, that's what you say, the latter end, he shall consider it perfectly. He didn't consider it. You know, he said, the whole side, he ain't here, he, you know, because again, lack of fear. You know, so that's why he's about to be judged because he, he, this is the man that made not the most high his, his state, man, trusting his riches. All right? He's going to be made the ultimate example of what happens when you don't fear the Lord. Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Yeah, so what is a fool? Psalm 14 chapter, fool said in his heart, there's no God. So you live on earth, like there's no God. So you're, you're, you're acting, there's no consequence for being a Sodomite. You act like there's no consequence for being pork and pretty much going to the, the laws the Lord left out, right? Because it says what Isaiah, you know, uh, they declared the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah, they hide it not. And that's the sign of their pride, right? What is pride when one departs away from his maker. So you're not keeping his ways, that's you departing. Okay, and that's what this world is, completely removed from the Lord. All right? That's why it says in the days of Noah, we quoted earlier, the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, because they didn't believe in the most high in his works. All right, so what did the Lord do? He says he's known in Psalm 9 chapter by the judgment which he executed. So the Lord's going to bring judgment because that's what gets everybody's attention. You're driving on the highway, big old accident, everybody slow down. Well, let, me, let, me, let me chill. You know, it humbles you. All right, so that's what the Lord's going to do, a great humbling by bringing judgments. Real quick. Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. It's pretty much what the brother got into. He saw Edom. That's why the scriptures say uh, his pride has reached into the heavens, man. You see what I'm saying? Because Esau ain't get his shit lifted yet. He feel like the most high don't exist. That's why Psalms 14 chapter says a fool said in his heart, there is no God. This man actually believed that he don't got all, all this blood shedding. He ain't got to pay for that, dog. But now he all these UFO sites, all right, just... Now you declassify you you declassify and classify information now? Why? Because you know you got a short time. Or you know that man upstairs is gonna judge your ass. This land can only be cleansed by the blood of him and So that 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 sentence is on your ass, man. You gotta pay for that. And that life sentence you get ready to get after that is extermination too. You got it. This is um Habakkuk 2, verse 4. Behold, behold the soul which is lifted up. No, not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Verse 5, yet also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. He to keep it at home, who enlarged his desires as hell, and his 
and it has death and cannot be satisfied, but gather him, uh, you know, trying, but gather him unto, all, unto him all nations, deep and wrong him all people. That's Esau, man. So he goes wrong trying to spread wicked philosophies. You know, trying to try to make everybody believe that it's freedom. You know, you could do what the fuck you want. No, man. That's why Jeremiah said the nations are mad. Right. So now since you've done that, now the nation, you know, now now they come into their senses. You know, they coming down from their heart. You know, now 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 they seeing this down for who he truly is. Right. Oh, the, this is the book of Second Maccabees, chapter seven. Starting at verse 31, and thou thou hast been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews, thou shalt so like it, shall not escape the hands of the most high. For we suffer because of our sins, and though the living Lord be angry with us a little while for our chastising and correction, yet shall he be at one again with his servants. See, this is all but for a moment, man. You know, and we're gonna be at one with our power again. But Esau, you know, you're gonna have to go through that. Uh, you're gonna have to go through it, man. What is that? Uh, Jeremiah, the 49th chapter. You know, uh, it says, "Thou shalt drink of that cup. Thou shalt surely drink of that cup, man." So the same things we had to go through, and you're gonna have to go through it double, man. You know, and to continue on, it says, verse 34, "But thou, O godless man, and all, and of all other most wicked, be not lifted up without a cause." nor puffed up with uncertain hopes, lifting up thy hands against the servants of the Most High. Right, because Esau, he thinks he got away with it, man. In his mind, he feel as if he doesn't have to pay the bill. He's trying to walk, you know, walk away from the tab. And but the Lord is telling you that, hey, hey, you have to pay for these atrocities that you have caused, man. And it says, for thou hast not yet escaped the judgment of the almighty power who seeth all things, man. You know, so hey, you're gonna have to go through it, Esau, man. You know, and that's what's gonna be so beautiful. Because at Esau, Esau's filled with, with great pride. He don't think he's gonna have to go through it, man. That's why it says oh, in the book of Job, you know, how they're gonna they're, they're gonna say, um, is, is this he? Is this the man, roughly paraphrasing, man? Because all his riches is gonna be not, man. It's gonna be nothing in the times we're coming into. Man. Jeremiah, how, how have the uh, him or the earth been cut asunder? Um, you know? So break it down point that's been already happening. Now right. we're coming into the, the end of, of it, you know? Right, that's right. It's Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Right, man. Just like how we had to we had to go into slavery. We had to go into captivity. And we still in today, still in, still today we are in our captivity. You, you devils gonna have to pay for your for your uh for for what for your former sins. No, no, Jake, uh, we will read this to the Edomites, and they'd be like, well, that wasn't us. Well, uh, reincarnation is real. Just like the same spirits, you know, the brother brought out in Revelation 1 to 7, um, how shall I going to pierce those who pierce them? So that's letting you know that reincarnation, that's a reincarnation scripture. You know, so those same devils that was crucified, I mean, the same spirits that was, uh, that was yelling, crucify, crucify, two thirds of our people, they here. All right, and who they coming up against? They coming up against us, Lord willing, be at our number. Same thing with the Edomites. The same Edomites who uh, who pierced you out shot, they back here on the earth today, uh, causing hell for, for, for the elect. You know? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity. Oh, you just read that? So he's gonna get it double though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got something real quick. This is Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had, had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sif, though thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And that's what's going to happen to, to these damn devils, man. You know, because that perpetual hatred, that ongoing hatred, you know, ever since the beginning, going back into to Esau, you know, the hatred that he had against Jacob, okay, and then down to his seed line, continuously, continuously had a special hatred towards us. So now, like the brother just read, that's gonna be returned onto you double. 
like the scripture says in Revelation, he that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword shall be killed with the sword. It is the patient of the saints. You know, you're gonna get this this is you get reaping what you sow. You know? Hey, and Esau loves blood, man. <laughs> Esau loves blood. He loves he loves he, he drinks blood, he's into blood. All right, since thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. In other words, it's saying you won't get a full dose of blood, man. Right? Since you love, since you're into blood so goddamn much. All right, you like spilling people's blood. You love killing people unjustly. Okay, well, guess what? You're gonna get a whole heap of blood. All right, if your own, of your coming from yourself. All right, in your whole nation. All right, the Lord has to repay that back. You know, and your know, brother quoted in Numbers. You know, the land can't be cleansed by the blood of him that shed. Well, how's it go? Uh, Numbers 35 and 33. Yeah, exactly. You know, so yeah, you know, it's it's got to happen. It's all for the, the true cleansing. Hey, hey, that blood's got to be spilt, and it's gonna be of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, not of us, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's right. Psalm one thirty seven, seven. Yeah, it Remember, O oh Lord, the children, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, you said, race and race it, even to the foundation thereof. Yeah, remember, remember, oh. Uh, he says, remember, oh Lord, the children of Edom, the day of Jerusalem. Yeah, remember. So, what we put the Lord remembers, what does he mean to us, you know? And he's been doing this. He's always been a misgiving ourselves. We left uh, Egypt. He's, he didn't want to let us pass, you know? And he read about the temple, you know, when Nebuchadnezzar came, the Babylonians took us down. But he saw the ones in the temple on fire, you know? And you read that in the, in the Apocrypha, you know? He set fire to it, having Jake's, you know, running out and then waiting with the sword. That's what he did. You know, and what did he do in the time of 70 AD? Starting in 66, you know, AD on like 73 AD, Vespasian ties the mission, he burnt the temple again, you know? So he wasn't trying to do this time, he's gonna try to do it, but he's gonna try to what? Try to get the Lord's elect, you know, which most eyes did dealing with those ministers. Most the time not most eyes with many who dwell with them. So he try to get the elect, right? Try to deceive them and trick them, but it's not possible. You know, but we're saying remember what he did. Okay, Jake's saying bygones, be bygones, let, him, let, let him live, okay? You know? But that's again, that's a, a, a lack of rulership mentality. Our people being conquered. It says, uh, what is it? Um, you love your oppressor, what's it called? Uh, Heavy, not very oppressor. Oh, that one, Stockholm. Yeah, Stockholm, that's what happened to our people. You know, they think just loving us, a white man's going to have him ease up off us. You better put in chip to me, you know, to where you can't receive salvation this time, you know? He could have told you, oh, don't take this, and you're going to get destroyed. You better call in the name of the Lord. No, he's, he's trying to trick you because he hates you, all right? You know, but we're saying remember this man because all the evils he did, all right? If you read in the uh, original 11 chapter, 11 verses, about three and a half days, all right? Dead body shall lie in, in, in the city, that great city, which is spiritual Sodom in Egypt. But what? We shall come up and prophesy, and he's going to be scared. Because why? Because, oh, damn, I was supposed to sweep some of the rug. I wasn't supposed to know about this. You know, they're, trying, they're not going to teach uh, what they did onto us in classrooms, no more slavery. It didn't happen. You know, it was a choice. Niggas talking about slavery was a choice, you know? Because they just bugged out, you know? But what happened was we disobeyed our power, the Lord raised his devil, and he showed us no mercy. So what did happen to him that didn't show no mercy? He's not going to get no mercy, you know? And he knows it. That's why he got underground bunker he's trying to go out of space because this is what he's doing he's getting them flintstone feet like he always does because he knows he's in trouble you're guilty okay you feel you feel condemned you want to just leave okay you know by sitting unto you to the wicked flee for no man pursue because you're guilty you know and he knows that but he's trying to shift blame and gaslight you know because our persecution is coming all right because he knows he's wrong you know the lord sees he's righteous until he can judge him it says, who said race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. So he said it. He said burn it. You know? Burn right. the temple. Killed him. You know? Right. He waited for this moment. He couldn't wait for Jake to go down. You know? This is the day we look for to say limitations. Yep. You know? Verse 8. Old daughter of Babylon. Old, old, old daughter of Babylon. So it's a prophecy. Old daughter of Babylon. Old virgin daughter of Babylon. So called America. Who are to be destroyed. Okay? So the whole time he said it be destroyed. You know? What? Happy shall he be that rewarded thee of as thou has rewarded us. Exactly. So I for eye, two for two. You know, that's what righteous judgment is. You took our eye, we're gonna take your eye. You took our two, we're gonna take your two. You know, and that's what God's gonna do. He's gonna restore us and give us power to execute that. Was it on Psalms? Um, what is it? Yeah, one forty nine. Get it real quick. We'll finish that. Come on. And verse nine. Happy shall he be. Happy shall he be. Because that's that's a righteous thing. It says, well, uh, it's, a, it's a blessing for a man to sit down for all of his enemies. Raise your voice a little bit. Raise your voice a little bit. Come on. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Yeah, and this is in the Bible too, okay? You know, this is rated R, you know? And I'm mature because, you know, going to again, people have an idea about, you know, the Bible. And even going to our Lord, he's this real cotton candy. The Lord said, I'm coming to bring a sword, you know? So when the Lord comes, he's going to be like, y'all, get him, you know? Do that, you know? Beat him up, you know? He's going to give uh, us power to take him down. He says, you know, my vengeance 
about him like we as Okay, that's a fair thing to do. Took our children slavery, y'all children will go to slavery. Right. You know, and it's gonna be a good thing because why? Like you rejoice to ride down for, we're gonna rejoice to be up down for. You know, the Lord said that verse 12, 12, 12 as well. Rejoice to be uh rejoice to be happy pretty much because why the Lord's about to redeem us on this place. You know? Psalms 149, uh, start at verse 7, to execute vengeance, verse 5. Psalms 149, verse 5. Let the saints be joyful and glory. Let them sing aloud. Let the saints get that, um, Daniel. Going back in Psalms 149, verse 5. Let the saints be joyful and glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. That, that's what we're doing. You know, we're singing songs of victory, right? Because it's already been set for us to win. Okay? You know, we're out here claiming, you know, the name of the Lord, you know, in great bonus. Hey, the Lord hears our prayers. He knows what we need. We need deliverance. So what's the Lord going to do? He's going to send a deliverance, right? Number six. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen. And punishments upon the people. You know, you know Lord's with it. it. Says that what uh, was it? First Thessalonians six. It's right thing on the most side of recompense tribulation. Then that trouble you. All right. Lord gonna let us do that. Okay. When the time comes, of course. Right now, our weapons are spiritual. All right. Two-edged sword is the word, which is sharper than any two-edged sword. You know, cutting down the sun, even to the soul. This man's cut to the spirit. All right. To where it says he's he's weary in the most of his counsels. I Meaning he's tired. Okay. What's the report? He's, he's he's terrified, man, because there's no good news coming. They about to drop the dog for years, shit ain't looking good. Four or three, Russia got some big old noose, you know, everybody in America, they, they, they talking and hating each other, it's about to get civil war, all right? What are we gonna do? We gonna get on that DJ and fly off to where we gonna fly off at, you know? The Lord gonna catch him, we got a special judge of family, because why? We're going to be king, we're gonna be kings, and princes, okay? The ones that got all the influence of power on earth right now, going to be banking families, right? Going back in Psalms 149, verse seven, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. All right, so we're going to get into a relationship. Lord going to give us a rod of iron. You know, we're coming. We're that. There's going to be a rigorous rule, okay, especially in the beginning. Because now you got, you got to conform. You got to beat your submission. You got all this Babylonism in, in, in you. You got to get beaten out of you, okay? You're going to learn the Hebrew, you know? You're going to know you're going to, you're going to know what you need to know. I say uh, big rocks and little rocks, okay? You're going to start working hard labor. They got soft, buttery hands, all right? The elites, they never work a day in their life, getting carried everywhere. The best of the best, you about to go to the straight bottom. Just like we did. Y'all are the head, y'all about to get the tail, okay? The, work, the, work, the role's about to reverse, okay? Trading places, true trading places, you know? And our roots is going to be forever. Ain't no, and Jake say a thousand years, East are going to come back into power. We're going to have spiritual powers, East are going to come in, back into power, all right? And you're not reading the scripture. Verse 8, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. So slavery, slavery is in the Bible. As we went into slavery, it says, yeah, we should go into Egypt again by ships, right? We went into, into hardcore slavery, we I mean, about to go into hardcore slavery, all right? Go ahead. Uh, it reads on, it says, to execute upon them the judgment written. So what is the judgment written, all right? Hardcore slavery. And after a certain amount of time, he saw he was a white man, he's about to be done away with. You know, in the book of Obadiah, no more. It's a nephew, no uncle, nobody. He's about to get completely cut off because why? Because this is the judgment written, all right? It's the only nation on the planet Earth that is written to receive no mercy, okay? And that's why, again, that's why he's not showing no mercy because he, at the end of the day, he's going to be an example of uh, what, uh, what happens when wickedness rules on the planet Earth, okay? You know? It's like he raised up Pharaoh, okay? The Lord, yeah, he saw suit up, all right? So Lord's gonna, his, that's what he does. He wants his fame to go out, his name to go out. It's not well known right now, just like it was back then. Right, so when the Lord took out ancient Egypt, you don't think everybody knew about the name of the Lord? He knew what you know was uh, um, what's the name? Uh -huh. Yeah. Exactly. So you heard about what, what they what uh what the Lord did to them Egyptians. Okay, so they treat us a lot more nicer, okay, when they see Jake coming around. Okay? Especially when these men get proud. It's Revelation 2. I start at verse 26, point is in 27. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations. Yep, so power over the nations, not with the nations. Right? Jake wanna, you know, again, go about, you know, going hand in hand. Everybody gotta be man. Lord promised us power and rulership, okay?
man says, I read earlier, says, and I should be given to other people. So who are we going to share the kingdom with? Not just the nations, okay? So it's going to rule over them, okay? We're going to have the authority, we're going to have our foot on their necks, okay? Just like they did with us, okay? There's going to be a righteous rule. That's, that's the difference. What's uh, Proverbs 29, all right? When the righteous rule authority is in Proverbs 29, yeah. uh, people rejoice, so you're going to be thankful, okay? At first, it's going to be a change, it's going to be a culture shock, all right? You can't, you know, do your little weirdo stuff with them idols, all right? You know, eating the bomb of food. But eventually you'll get you'll get on with the program because you're gonna see why because the earth's gonna run in a righteous way, okay? To where now you can be thankful and be uh, show more gratitude towards the Lord because why? Because what happens is righteous and unknown. Okay, we can keep the ways of the Lord. Okay, so the example again going to uh, Deuteronomy, this this is uh, how's uh how's it go? Deuteronomy 4. Uh, this is a uh, great and understand uh, wise people that has the most sides so to them because of our, our ways we keep, you know. And they don't want to follow our ways like the devil now everyone wants to be like him because they think you know being evil is the way to go. That's why Jake sell out. Because it's power, okay? He's in power right now. So when we're in power, we're going to play. We're going to conform to our ways, okay? And that's been equated to them. They'd be in the right situation. Because right now, they're mad about to go to World War III, okay? Because the man was in power, you know? Yeah. Uh, verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. Join rulership. The Lord is going to give us a peace and a possible sake. That supposedly goes to him to overcome as the elect at this time. Okay? Because how are we going to get the victory by our faith? Who is he to overcome it? But he that believe upon Yahweh and Shah. You know, so us having the victory you know, overcoming, the Lord already has our seats uh, set up. That's why ultimately goes into, uh, you know, fight the good fight of faith. You know, put on there for the elect. It's going to be manifesting that day. The Lord going to give us uh, pretty much a promotion when the time comes. Okay? He already did it. It says, uh, so Jeremiah made you a prophet over the nation, right over the nation right now. Okay, we just want to have that seat. But right now it's about humility, pretty much during on to the end. You know? This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord. All right, Esau, you know, he's that destroying mountain. All right, mountain going to uh, a, uh, a uh, government. government. Okay, the way he saw you know, he, he rules. All right, it's, it's, it's destroying it. It's destroying this world. All right, it says in Psalms that everything is turned upside down. All right, you know, GMO foods, okay, cyanamides uh, everywhere, man. All right, them legalizing, uh, uh, being a cyanamide. Okay, so everything is turned upside down with Esau and Russia. It says, which destroyeth all the earth. All right, Esau, you don't give a plan, seven, he just want to pump up everything. He just want to pump up everything, you know, with, uh, even with the, like the cows. Like, he milked the cows too fast, all of the milk, and all that he gives it to the people. You see, it says, I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rocks, and I will make thee a burnt mountain. You know, Esau, he's, he's referred to as that eagle. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord, he's going to take him down from that, from that high seat. Right? All right, it says, make it a, a burnt mountain. The Lord is going to destroy America by what? You know, thermonuclear missiles. This place is going to be desolate. All right, nobody's going to add an avenue. Only, uh, only unclean animals. If I want to go to the law. This is Exodus 21 and 16. And he that selleth a man is slaughtered. Like and he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. Okay, and how do we come over here to the Americas? By way of cargo slave ships. And I want to go to this account in the book of Joel 3 and 3. All right, it says, uh, Joel 3 and 3, and, and they have cast lots for my people, all right, the Israel, Israel. It says, and have given a boy for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine that they that they may drink. You know, so like the book of Psalms says, the 83rd chapter, all the nations uh, had a hand in our captivity. So that's why all the nations are going to receive that judgment, all right? But it's just Esau, Edom, that who's, who's not going to... Uh, not going to uh, receive mercy, you know. But we don't, you know, we, we don't talk about the other nations. But Moab, you know, they, they, what they do, they come up in our hoods, you know, uh, and what they, what they put in Chinese restaurants, okay, and what they sell, what they sell our people. All, all the vulnerable foods that's in the wild, they make with cat, duck, okay, um, dogs, all types of shit into your food. You know, the Arabs come over to you, Arabs come to, to, to your hood and um, oh, put up liquor stores. You know, and sell you malt liquor, all these things, 24 hours, you know, destroying uh, our people. Blunts and all that. You know? Yeah, blunts. Cigarettes. Cigar cigarillos, you know, 
all that shit, man. Huh? You said, uh, transatlantic slave trade, and who were the ones that were being traded? The Israelites. Huh? So I had a quick one. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, starting at verse 21. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high. Speaking about the elite Baker families, man. You know, speaking about your Rockefellers, man. You know, uh, who else? Rob Child, Deuce Palmer, Deuce Palmer, man. Gages, the Ivan Oppenheimer. Yeah, all you elite all Baker families, family, man, because you were the ones that funded the, uh, the, uh, the transatlantic slave trade. And it says, and the kings of the earth, upon the earth, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison. And after many days, they, uh, and after many days shall they be visited. You didn't, hey, you elite big families going into uh, slavery, man. It's going into captivity. Under who? The Israelites. Starting with the elect. They don't have that yoke. They don't have that yoke of iron upon their neck. It's like how we did. Yeah. It's just about their mention, man. It's just sell us in, um, and uh, Thessalonians is the righteous thing to recompense tribulation and them that trouble with us, man. You see, the thing is, every father's going to make it a, a turning around of events, man. Since we're the ones that went through all the hell, the, the niggas that put us through hell going to have to feel what we went through, man. And, and guess what? When they feeling it, ain't going to be nobody to come through and save them at that thing, man. All right, at least we have y'all, my shooting y'all shot to come and deliver us at the end of our uh, captivity. Them niggas going to be, Esau going to be stuck to destruction and them the rest of the heathens is just gonna be stuck being our slaves forever, man. That's right. You know? This is Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever men sow, that shall he also reap. And that's what it is, man. All these nations that conspired to cut us off from being a nation uh being a nation, spoken about in Psalms, the 83rd chapter. Okay, all of them that conspired to cut us off, to place us into bondage. Okay, you're gonna get that returned onto you. Okay, Esau wants to exterminate us. Now you're gonna get that returned no, onto you. you. Yeah, okay, that's, that's the that's the seed that makes you sowing anyways, man. You no, know, you uh, you get what you deserve, man. That's what it is, man. You get what you what you deserve. You uh, whatever you dish is gonna be returned onto you, man. It's gonna be merited onto you. Okay. Okay. All right, you thought you were gonna you could come through the file of the the, the earth. Put, put God's true people in captivity and literally put your foot on our necks and think you was gonna run away with that shit. Well, guess what, man? That's what's gonna end up happening to you, man. You gonna be in captivity. All right, Revelation tell you that, man. All right, we gonna have our foot on your neck and guess what? We ain't letting up, man. All right, we not gonna do Fuck, we gonna take our foot off your neck for it, man. For you to try to uh, bounce back. No, fuck that, man. You gonna be forever a slave, man. Until, until that thousand years is up, and guess what, man? It's going to be a uh, uh, corral all Edomites, man. And, and, and uh, like you be seeing the, the farmers when it's time to let the herd out. They got the, the fucking herd dogs to uh, corral the cattle and shit, man. Yeah, Edomites. Yeah, yeah. corral <laughs> all them Edomites. Bring them to that fucking bonfire, man. It's yeah. time to put them niggas out. And when we say Edomites, we're talking about the so-called white man. That's right. Yeah, that's that's the Edomites. Yeah. This is Deuteronomy 37. It says, in the Lord, yeah, how will thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee which persecuted thee. So who's our, who are our enemies? Our top enemy, the so-called white man, the so-called Chinese, so-called Japanese, so-called Africans, you know, because we're not African. All right, you got the, uh, the uh, uh, East Indians, okay, uh, so-called Hawaiians. All right, so all, because we're, we're, we're getting ready to receive the blessings. All right, the blessings in Deuteronomy 28, all right, one through fourteen. All right, all those blessings are gonna come on us. All right, and so all these curses are gonna come upon our enemies. Esau and his children, when they born, they they they, they be born into captivity. You know, right, one they point also curse on us. At one point or another, these nations had us in captivity. At one point in history, you, know, you mentioned all those different nations. Well, they had us in slavery at one point. You know, chiefly the so-called white man, but. You know, different African nations had us in slavery. You said Hawaiians, these go back, you know, there was a, um, uh, you know, Japhetic, you know, okay. You know, um, all these different, you know, go into it, man. But, um, but yeah, man, they're all gonna have to go, they're gonna have to feel it. They're gonna have to feel it the same way, man. Obadiah 1 and 15, for the day of Yahweh is near upon all heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. For as for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, they shall swallow now, 
if they shall be as thou, thou they had not been. Sorry. Verse 17, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. You know, so just like, you know, we, we carry in bags, we, 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 we possess this bag, so we can throw it, all right, we can toss it in the garbage, you know, and that's how, that's how we gonna uh, rule over you other nations. You know, you can do whatever you want to your Edomite, as long as it ain't going against the law, statutes, and commandments, all right, on, on, on that one, on that Sabbath day, you know, that's the only day they're going to not have a foot up their ass, man. Right? All right. It says, verse 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame. So that's representing the southern and the northern kingdom and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any, any remaining of the house of Esau for the Lord has spoken. It. Okay. And that's speaking about after that thousand year period. All right. We're going to bundle up the, the Edomites and throw them into a, into a pit, man. You know, we, we ain't got to worry about seeing them no more in the face of the earth because, you know, what is Esau's purpose really? All right, um, um, Psalm 17 and 13, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is our sword. So really the Esau's purpose is really here to chastise us. It's, it's the most highest form of a belt. Okay, the Lord says, in, in, uh, you know, um, um, about the ride, you know, deliver them over to the ride, you know, so modern day ride is a belt. Yeah, yeah. You know, so really Esau's purpose is really to be our whooping stick, but you know, in the kingdom of heaven, you know, it's no it ain't gonna be no purpose for him. You know, we're gonna get our payback and then we're gonna be through after that. And that's what I want to offer you. I know Galatians 8 says, For he that soweth to his flesh, shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit, shall of the spirit reap the life everlasting. How you, when you pray and idolize those of the flesh, idolize those people that are here on earth, you are doing nothing but looking at what is here. You ain't looking up there. You ain't looking what God has to give us. You bow down to the spirit. You give to the spirit. You will have your life everlasting. Okay, brother. All right, brother. So y'all preached for me. I had to come over. He spoke to me on the Easter Sunday and said, I gotta come over and hear the word. There you go. Hey, we out here, man. We out here. Appreciate you coming out. Definitely here. We here, man. Definitely. All right, brother, got it. This is uh, Proverbs 11 and 10. When it goeth well with the righteous, the, the city rejoiceth. And when the wicked perish, there is a shouting. You know, so it's gonna be a time where, you know, the Edomites are gonna perish completely and there's gonna be a shouting. All right, there's going to be rejoicing, okay? Because, hey, that wicked one will no longer, all right, walk the earth, man, okay? It will be completely righteous, a complete righteousness, man. That's what the righteous people will be ruling. I got, I got something right. Uh, this is Isaiah 14, start at 4. It says that thou shalt take up his proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressed ceased, the golden city ceased? Lord, Yahweh have broken the staff of the wicked, and the scepter of rulers. He who spoke of evil and wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted, is persecuted and unhindered. Right, so it's telling you that, you know, Esau's going down, man. It is, it is, it is, it is, uh, his society, his rulership is going down. Right, it's okay. a continual stroke, right. you know? So he, that, that motherfucker ain't let up still until this day. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, still shooting our people, still uh, locking our people up for crimes they haven't committed. Right. All right, Trayvon Martin, uh, Rihanna Taylor, uh, um, Trayvon Barry, those are just uh, minute uh, situations, but that's, that devil's still doing this. Man, but hell with those motherfuckers, man. And they sin is anyways, man. They are here doing all types of garbage in the world. You know, eventually that's what, you know, that's the judgment, you know, at the end of the day, but that's the point though. You see how Esau is, you know, unjustly just, though he'll throw you in jail for no way, I'll kill you, okay? They're just examples, really, at the end of the day, you know, but, you know, we, we ain't, you know, advocating for, for those kind of people, man. But that's the point, though. You know, they, you know, Esau don't give a damn about, you know, whether, you know, whether you did it or not. He just wants a body, man. He, again, we read it earlier. He loves blood. Okay? He loves blood. It will kill you when you get an opportunity. Okay? And what? They're going to get off on it. They ain't going to get no, um, they ain't going to get no, um, no, uh, what you call it, uh, repercussions to police officers. Okay? Paid, paid, paid off. Paid, 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 paid vacation, basically, man. You know? Go ahead. I got something real quick. 
is uh, James 5, you know, I'll start at the top verse 1. It says, Go to now, you rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. You know, because it goes in Proverbs, it says, uh, The rich man's wealth is a strong city. That's why he thinks that he's good. You know, he can deliver himself from power of evil because he got all this money there in trouble as other men because they got no resistance for that right now. At the top, where they think nobody can see them, you know, the so called illuminated ones, right? They have no competition besides the men, the Lord out in highways and byways talking against them. You know, but go to now, you rich men, all right? Because the Lord, hey, we talked about um, what the parable of Lazarus, Lazarus and the rich man, all right? The rich man, he was good, you know, he had it lifted, lifted up, he was arrayed in purple, scarlet, and everything he desired, okay? You know, and then Lazarus was trying to eat the crumbs off the table, you know, but when the time came, I right, when the rose reversed, Hey, the rich man saying, hey, can I have some mercy? You know, well, you're not going to get no mercy because he didn't show no mercy. He said, just let me get my finger, you know, can I cool off. You know, this is crazy, you know. But hey, man, he said, can I, can he said, my father Abraham, you know, because that's how you know something about Esau, right? Because it talks about, um, I have five brethren, all right? Let me go talk to them and say, maybe, hey, don't, don't do this because it's going to happen to you if you keep, you know, boom, how you move on earth, especially against the Lord's chosen. And those five brethren, those are Esau's sons, you know, go to the Dukes of Edom. Right, you know, but it goes into again how now in this time, now his love position he's in, he's in a worst case scenario. He's uh, in the fullness of sufficiency, he shall be in straits because he's in a he's in a bad position right now. Okay, he's literally about to have to fight against the Lord physically. You don't want to do that, okay? But he's gonna be scared yet there's fight because why his pride got him going. So he says, Oh, the pride of the CD, all right. But um, James 5 verse 2 the riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth eaten. So, why is the man wealth, wealth corrupted? How do you get so rich? He got us in captivity. Free labor for hundreds of years, of course he's gonna be on top. He got a super head start, okay? That's why it says, uh, let victory shut on to wicked, yet we're not learn righteousness. He still got all the favor in the world, okay? But he still can't do right, he's still about to be greatly judged, you know? Again, us being in captivity still to this day, all right? Subject to payments, all right? That's why his, 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 his riches are corrupted, because of a bunch of blood on it, all right? You know, and that's why it talks about, we also said, let not your, uh, your treasures on earth were more corrupt, because this, this whole earth is corrupted. Right, by the man who's in worship, so it's gonna be destroyed. All right, lay your treasures in heaven because we're, we're sitting in the world to come. All right, uh, James 5, verse 3 Your gold and your silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be witness Smile. against you. Smile. So, what color is rust? Rust is red. All right, it says, uh, the uh, book of the book of Sirach. All right, you know, uh, how's it going? His rust, his rust not, he must even disappear. You know, trust not your enemy. Oh, all right, to our prayer races. You know, and what is what color is rust? It's red, man. Red, like a soap white man. All right, it says, um, and the rust goes into corruption. So James 5 verse 3, your gold and silver is cankered. All right? It says, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. So your corruption is a witness against you. All this wealth, you're on top of the world right now. How'd you get there? He asked, that's a simple question. How'd you know this? I stole it. Okay? You know, so that, what's going to happen for a man that steals? That's in the law. Thou shalt not steal. Come on, man. Right? Is that, uh, is, is that the same passage where I say gains gotten by the seat? Or is it rich guy by the seat? Or that's another part of the time. Yeah, it's rock 10. 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 It's all right, you, you yourself is, a, is, 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 is kind of as a, a wealth because it says, uh, talk, talk about a woman, of course. Lord's verse, it says, He that gets a woman gets possession. We talk about the Psalm 2 chapter. As, as to me, I'll give you the heathen for thine inheritance. All right, so yeah. you're going to be a uh, part of our inheritance too. You know, so all, again, all this treasure, he's, he's heaped up all the gold, all the silver, all the real wealth that he's hidden in these bunkers, you know, had it hid somewhere, wherever. He's hidden islands and all these you know, maps you know, that are uh, not made public. All right. It's going to be all given on to the just, all right? Um, verse 4, James 5 and 4, Behold, the hire the laborers who have reaped down your fields. Who's that? Jake, okay? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. It says, which is kept back by fraud, crying, okay? This man's the biggest fraud on the planet Earth, of Job 9, 24. He covered the face of the judges, all right? You know, if not, where and who is he? It's Esau, man, all right? It says, in the, in the cries of them which have reaped, are entered into the ears of the Lord and some hope. So that's why going to us being woken up, the first thing we did was he cried out. So we were born again. Okay, we heard that we heard that cry in the wilderness, right? The Lord raised up, you know, Elder Alpha Bivens, okay, which is Elijah coming back, John the Baptist, all right? So we're now, hey man, we're crying out on the name of the Lord, and the Lord hears that. Okay? So the Lord is hearing those cries of, of, of what the oppression, 
okay, the things that happen unto the Lord's people. It talks about uh, Zebra 904, that those that sigh and cry, right? So what the Lord's going to do is going to get up and come down and judge the earth because he's just for his people. Okay, which is why the name is so important. You know, how else would we cry unto the Lord and call, call him if we didn't have his name? You know, so name is very, it's, it's a key, uh, it's essential, all right? Exactly. Absolutely. That's our strong tie, that's who we run to. We got a problem, we run to the Lord. Who's our problem? He's so. Yeah. We're going to show you he, he had, that had to be given to us. He gave us his name back, man, because exactly. we lost it. You know, the mercy, you know. Yep. And that goes to him getting all the glory because you can't say we did it, okay? It wouldn't be of grace, okay? Exactly. The Lord did this because it's for his name's sake. Everyone more you guys get it. James 5 and 5, ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton, living luxury, living, living great, okay? Living and having everything you can desire, man, all right? And all, all this of ill gotten gain, all right? Talk about that woman uh, drunk with the blood of saints, okay? Dressed in purple raiment, okay? So in America, Babylon the Great. Ran by who? So for white man. He says, You have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. Amen. So again, it's stuff, stuff, you know? Again, talk about it says in the book of Job. It says, he, um, He's about to fill his belly, right? You know, fulfill his end of the The Lord's going to cast that fear upon him, you know? Let's talk about one more. He have condemned and killed the just, and he doth not resist you, okay? He has no bone in the middle of this dude. You know, you know, issue with him, we're a peaceful people, Jerusalem, right? So why you got a problem with us? This man came all the way over there to sold all, sell all these seeds to grab Jacob and put him in slavery, okay? Came over came over here to put the northern tribe in slavery, instead of lands. Jake, uh, you know, selling Manhattan for like 10 bucks, you know? Because right. they, because we're accustomed, why you, you don't sell land, you know? Because it's, it's about inheritance, you know? But again, going to all this, this devil trick, our people, a lot of them, okay? He's gonna do it again with the seed. Of Right, but the elect, they're, gonna, they're, gonna, they're not going to bow the knee. That's the issue. You can't shut our mouth. All right? So let's find out. The Lord's going to do something. That's what we're most waiting for in return. Can I get a quick second real quick? Real quick. Uh, Psalm 73 and verse 20. As a dream, when one awaketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their, uh, their image. But the point is, the most high, how about me on shine? It's getting ready to, that power is getting ready to, all right, be shown, man. See, up Going to someone, you wake up from a deep sleep, you know, they get, they get pissed off, you know. Someone is at rest, you know, they get woken up, they wake, wake up, you know, you get, you get red eyed, you get mad, all right. So when the Lord wakes up, when he rises up, he's going to be pissed, you know. Think about a king that he rises up from his throne, that's bad, you know. He has people to delegate and deal with certain things, but if it gets to him, that means he's going to start judging people, you know, and that's what the Lord's going to do, all right. In the 19th chapter, it says, in, in, in uh, Christ's ability, judge and make war. That's why it's going to make war because that's what the judgment is. Right? It's a Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, until the day that I that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And, and that's what the Lord is going to do, man. You know, it's, it's his determination to gather the nations. Where is he gathering the nations? In the valley of Jehoshaphat, which in Hebrew is Yahweh Shapat, the Most High's judgment. Right? That's why you got the Euphrates River drying up. The Lord is gathering them, okay, for sword destruction. All right? His indignation, that, that's his righteous anger. Okay, he's gonna pour upon them his 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 weaponry. Okay, which is the nuclear missiles, man. Okay. Let me back you up. Let me back you up. The reason why the Lord is gonna do it, all right, is for Israel. For all the shit that these nations done did to Israel. Because you don't you don't try to you don't play with the Lord's wife, man. All right, so now the Lord has to avenge his wife, man. All right, by judging you nations. Yeah, because hey, the well, the brother said we go to uh, Joel, I believe three. Yeah, three. The controversy is Zion, right, right. so it's back to brother up. That's why the right. Lord is doing this, you know. Plead, he said, there will I plead for my people, Israel. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I kind of wanted to backtrack when your brother uh, was speaking about, you know, crying out unto the Lord, you know, because uh, even the book of uh, Ezekiel the ninth, uh, the ninth chapter goes into those Mark those who are sighing and crying, that Mark of Egyptians, which is the Star Wars. But I want to go to the. Um, the law here in Deuteronomy uh, 22, starting at verse, uh, starting at 23, it says, If a damsel that is a virgin be betrothed unto a, unto a husband, and a man find her in the city and lie with her, then ye shall bring them both out 
out unto the gate of that city, and ye shall stone them with the stones that they died. The damsel, because she cried not, being in the city. So that's the point. You know, and we're, we're equated to as the most highest woman. All right, uh, I believe that's in the book of uh, Jeremiah. All right, how we how we are the most highest woman. So if a woman, uh, if she has a husband and, and she's about to be betrothed, a woman is supposed to cry out. All right, just like how we're supposed to cry out. We come out to the streets, we prophesy, we make these lessons, we uh, we pray to the Lord. We are, the scripture says, sigh and cry. All right, for all the abominations that be done in the midst of So two thirds of our people, they're they're letting they're letting um, the other nations betroth them, you know, through the spirit as well. You know, so that's why they're gonna receive that judgment of the stone. You know, they're gonna get stoned. You know, with with, with the missiles. Exactly. Read, read the next um, the other judgment. Okay, come. On. It says, um, read from the top again. Um, uh, the, the one where she, she does cry out. Oh, when she does cry out. Yeah. Okay, verse twenty-five. Um, Deuteronomy 22 and 25, but if a man find a betrothed damsel, damsel, damsel in the field, and the man force her and lie with her, then the man only that that lay with her shall die. Right. Because what? You know, and, that, and again, that like, that's like it unto the elect of Israel, the, the Lord's woman, as opposed to the same. Okay, because what? And they, we're, cry, like, we're crying out. Yeah, right. The scriptures say, you know, <laughs> come on, man. It's supposed to say, uh, 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 there was a sign cry. Uh, uh, the innocent and righteous blood cries unto me. The souls of the just complain continually. So this man out here that's, that's crying unto Yahweh, by Shimi Yahweh, like, yo, look what this man is fucking trying to do to me, man. Yo, I, you got to save me. You know, save me. I, I don't want this to happen to me, man. I already have a power. I already have a God. I don't need this guy sticking nothing in me. Because that's exactly what he's trying to do. He's trying to stick yep. something in us. Yep. Or some weirdo shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay? But we're not, we, we ain't going to allow do it, man. We're going to cry out. We're going to kick and scream. Yep. We're going to scratch at him. <laughs> you know, so he doesn't, he doesn't get us. He doesn't put that thing in us, man. And then the Lord's going to get us. Yeah, that's heavy because even going back into the law that the brother was reading, you know, the thing about it is the difference between one third of our nation of people, which is the elect, both will, were found amongst that number. But the ones that's crying, crying out, it's not with the program. Right. Those are the ones that's loyal to the power, like the, like the elder was just saying. We loyal to our husband, okay? But two-third of our nation of people, okay, are the ones that's with the program, okay? The ones that's harlots, the ones that's spiritually defiled, that ultimately got to get cleansed with thermal and nuclear soul, you know? And yeah, that's why it says in the 2nd and 16, 2nd and 16, verse 69, then that consent onto them, so if you had in derision, that's consenting, right? You know, when you consent, meaning you're with them, right? So if you're not crying out, it means you're consenting to that you know, sexual intercourse, you know? You're consenting to it, what must be done unto you, because again, Cry out a sign of faithfulness. All right, a faithful woman will cry out, you know, but an unfaithful woman, she ain't gonna cry out. I mean, that's what our, that's the way of our people, an unfaithful woman, you know? Uh, real quick, but even when you go to like Esau's uh, court system, you know, say, say you, you, uh, they, they call it, you accomplice to a murder, mm -hmm. you know, so um, you accomplice to a murder and you don't, and you don't say nothing, you, you get hit with the same charge as, as the dude that did the crime. So that's the same way it is through the spirit. You know, if you're not, if you're not uh, signing a crime, guess what? Uh, Proverbs 11, 21, that the brother Quan brought out, no hand join the hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. So two thirds of our people, they're going to receive the same judgment as we saw Eden. That's what it is. Hand in hand is a marriage, you know? Yep. Yep. So they're, they're marrying this devil. Okay? They're making a table for that number, okay? You know, going to Esau. They're laying it out. Say, hey, we be all with the program, you know? So and when the Lord comes and sees women like that, what do you think will happen? So jealousy, jealousy is a rage of a man. What are you doing with my woman, you know? So he's going to kill you and he's going to kill you, you know? Yeah. Come on, this is uh, book of uh, Zechariah, chapter 9, verse 12. And it reads, turn ye to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope, like the brother say, having the name of the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his only God say, Yahweh Shah, is essential. You know, it says to the stronghold, Yahweh Shah, Shah being our, our power source. You know, it's just like uh, your phone, you gotta put your phone on the charger. You know, and we gotta come back to the power source, man. Calling on the correct name. Man. So if the Lord can hear our affliction at the time we're coming into, man, crying unto Yahweh Shah, 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 and say, ye prisoners of hope, and that's likened to the elect, man. You know, prisoners are home. You know? This is 2nd Ezra 15 and verse 8. It says, I will I will hold my tongue no more as touching the wickedness. Alright, see the see the Lord ain't hey, hey, not putting up with all this with all the wickedness that's going on. Alright, because you have 
We have we have the prophets of the Lord. We all over it, man. Anything that, that, that's going on in this world, you know, we touch it up on it. Right? Anything uh, that these false pastors are saying, we gonna touch up on it. All right, starting with the apostles, the elders, brothers on down. They, you know, we we clean up all all the bullshit, you know, that he saw this putting out. It says, which they profanely commit. Neither, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise, exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. All right, they complain continually to the heavenly Father. Um, uh, day in, day out, you see your brothers, you see your brothers doing videos all, all, all hours throughout the day. All right, well, every, every week on the highways and byways, you know, uh, you know, whether we prophesy to the wind. All right, or, or, to, or whoever may be listening on the comment board. All right, we're, 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 we are uh, complaining continually, righteously complaining. All right, you know, to tell the Lord that we're ready to be delivered. It says, verse 9, And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. So the Lord, he's going to deliver it. You know, he's going to deliver that remnant. All right, that, that, because the Lord, he reserved, he, 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 he has reserved his remnant. Says, says Romans, right, right, right. Ezekiel 9, sorry, uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4 says, And the Lord your house sent unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forest of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of it. And that mark is talking about the, uh, that walk, you know, that mark of exemption to those that are really sighing and crying. And, those, and the ones that are really sighing and crying is uh, the elect, man. But the elect is the only ones really complaining of. Uh, Right in the sense of what's going on in society, man, of all the wickedness that's going on, of all the wickedness that Esau is pushing out, man, and the wickedness that our people are doing too, man. Okay? And that's why Yahshua said, if you, at least if you convert as a, as a child, you can't enter into the kingdom because the child is what? Fully dependent on their parents, you know? What is our parents? Wisdom, Sophia, and Heavenly Father. Okay, y'all watch your side, you know? So our dependency is saying, we need you. That's what we're crying. That's what the baby does. I, I need you. I need something, you know? That's what we're doing. Right, but look at our people, they're not crying out because they don't think they need the Lord, you know? They're depending on who? They're depending on Esau. So a white man, you know? And that's a curse at the end of the day. You know, so that curse can be a shame. So they, they're trusting in Egypt, all right? Trusting in the strength of Pharaoh, shall be a shame, you know? Yeah, the cry, what? The baby can't speak, so the cry is how they communicate. You know, when you, a parent, you know, you're, you're seeing cries, you know, you, you know they can't talk, you know, or he, you know, to the sound of the cry, you like, Oh, he hungry. Now nah, he wants a bottle. Now nah, he wants to be patted. You know, oh, he, he wants to be burnt. You know what I'm saying? So that cry is a communication with the heavenly father. You know? Hey, so uh, what was you just saying? This was my firstborn. Yep. This Psalm 34, starting at verse 15, the eyes of Yahweh are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. You know, and that's why we got to be crying unto the Lord uh, constantly. You know, by way of uh, praying, by way of making these lessons, going out to the highways and byways. You know, it says, The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Right, so the Lord is with us, Lord, whether we be that number. But the Lord is against uh, uh, two-thirds. The Lord is against the heathen nations, man. And the Lord says, in these last days, we shall do greater works than him. John 14 and 12. You know, so uh, expect miracles, all right? Expect uh, to be saved, you know, expect spiritual powers. You get casted into prison, you know, you're looking at a guillotine, expect, you know, something miraculous to happen, you know, because hey, that's the type of power that we serve, all right? It says, verse 17, the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth yeah, them out of all sure. their troubles. You know, we're coming into the time of Jacob trouble, the worst time period on the planet Earth, you know, so a brother's going to receive those spiritual powers. The brothers shall mount up their wings as eagles, brothers shall run uh, like sparks among the stubble, you know? And it says, uh, verse 18, the Lord is not unto them that are that are of a broken heart and save as such as be of a, a, be of a contrite spirit. You know, man, we, we, we're remorseful, you know, for the things that we've done against the Heavenly Father. And we're showing it through our actions because repentance, if you can't just say, oh, I'm sorry, and then you're going back to, to, to the bullshit, you know, a broken contrite spirit is gonna be sincere. All right, it's going to show through your actions, you know. I got something, Bob, shot back you up. Uh, it's Romans uh, chapter 8, verse 14. It says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of the Most High, 
they are the sons of the Most High, all right? Because you got physical Israelites, but they're, they're not uh, uh, the Israel of the Most High, all right? Because they're not being led by the Spirit. Even though their genealogy, their bloodline goes back to uh, Jacob. It says, uh, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. All right? So we've been adopted. We've been uh, reconciled back unto Yahweh Shemir Ashai. So now we're able to cry. Uh, you know, that's that spirit of adoption. All right? Being able to call on, on basically your, your father, your, your, your parents again. Because when we didn't have, when we wasn't adopted, so to say, we couldn't call on no parents and we had none. But we have received that spirit of adoption. Now we can cry back onto our parents again, so to say. Yes. All right. And that's the sign of the curses coming off of us, because being fathers. Oh yeah. The sign right. of the curses it talks yep. about. Uh, he our shall life. leave. Yeah, yeah. He shall leave. Yep. You know, so a life hanging in doubt. Yep. All right. That's that constant fear. Can I? Am I gonna be able to get through the week? And, yep. Hey, we have comfort now. You know. Yep. Verse sixteen says, "The Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High." Okay. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach. Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. And once again, you uh you stated the law, you go back to the law, right? Uh basically your, your son inherits, you know, uh, uh what what you have, man. All right, your firstborn, which is why Yahweh Shai received the you know the greatest inheritance because he was the firstborn. But hey, we being sons of the most high, we're gonna partake in those uh inheritances too. You know, and the, the, the scriptures say, uh the earth is the Lord and the full fullness thereof so this this belongs to the lord all right so we're going to inherit what's his so to say you know and, and even more you know my father's house of many mansions you know yeah so i'm uh grossing 15 minutes okay. uh group 4 verse 21 it says be of good cheer for my children cry out to the lord and he will deliver you from the power in the hand of the enemies and amen us having a the name of the Lord again. That's the whole thing. That's our power. Okay, we're calling the name of the Lord, and this is as he said, he's a man that he shall not lie. Okay, so what's calling the name of the Lord? He said, He's gonna deliver us from my enemies. He did it before, he's gonna do it again, you know. So that's why I don't think you know, this is a light thing. Having the name of the Lord, you know, Jake is having like a so I know the name of the Lord, you know, like this is a serious thing, man. We we lost it now, we have it. Okay, and that goes to us, man. He talks about that parable, that treasure, man. So everything he had to get that land, okay. But the land is going to your you know, wisdom, you know. So, uh, group four. Verse 22, it says, My hope is in the everlasting that he will save you. The joy is come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon the joy come. joy is come unto me from the Holy One. Hey, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Yahweh Shai gave us something to smile about again. All right. Because to say, it say we was in a world lost in our trespasses, you know, aliens from the commonwealth of israel but joy has been restored through the holy one man all right that's why all all the prophets uh uh before you how came was prophesying of messiah to come all right uh the one um priest uh basically i forget in the new testament i forget his name but basically simeon the water well he said man you know basically he he lived to see uh, uh the messiah then after that you know he wanted to give up the spirit man Okay, so joy has been given unto us through the Holy One, man. We got something to s smile about. Why? Because we, through Yahweh Shai, we've been joined back unto these mercies, back unto these blessings. All right, so we, we now we have something to be to be joyful about, man. You know, because we were cut off from the blessings. You know, so He gave us joy again, man. You know, because um, like the, like the precept uh, in Romans it says, "What is Israel seeking for?" But they have not obtained with the election. Have obtained, it, you know, and that's and that's salvation. That's eternal peace, you know. That's that's being completed, you know. Because like you said, we didn't have a power. Of, we was empty, you know, mm -hmm. caught up in our transgressions. That's how two thirds is. Where they this is why they caught up in all these various different religions because they didn't receive that, you know. And they're going to waking up to that inheritance, you know. That's why you're going to. Uh, the second and seventh chapter about us going through the troubles to get to it. Think about the Lord promised the land, but he said y'all gotta go get there first, you know? So how it is now we have to see you know the mystery so we know what's to come for us, that means we still we gotta, gotta walk walk to the kingdom, you know? Uh oh, it's uh it's book of second Ezra chapter seven, starting at verse forty three. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of immortality for to come, where incorruption is past. 
and temperance is at an end, and fidelity is cut off, righteousness is grown, and truth is grown up, then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor oppress him that hath gotten the victory. And through the Spirit, we ain't hey, we gotten the victory, man. So like the brother said, hey, the scripture says, Romans 15, chapter 4, verse, that things are written before time were written for our Lord. The brother said, we got something to smile about again, man. We know, and hey, we got the victory. This is going to be the last time we in captivity. This is the last time we're going to have Esau ruling over us, man. And we understand, hey, the blessings we're about to receive, man. So we got the victory through the Spirit. All we got to do is continue to fight, man, continue to push, you know, or strive into the truth and to the devil, and the Lord shall fight for us, man. You know? But the Scriptures gives us what? In this hell we in, the Scriptures gives us comfort, man. You know? That's a group four, four. O Israel, happy are we, for, for things that are pleasing to the most side are made known unto us. All right? Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. So, hey, we have to be of good cheer, and hey, the Lord has blessed us, all right, by making known the things that are pleasing unto him, to us, man. Okay? Because there was a point in time where we didn't know how to please the Lord. Okay? Hey, the Lord has blessed us with that, man. Okay? And we're, we're putting our best foot forward. What does it say? Move forward towards the end. All right, seeing you have uh, returned to the Lord, seek him 10 times more. Okay, so we have been blessed with that. All right, through the spirit of Yahweh, we're going to put our best foot forward. Yep, and ultimately, you know, like the brother said, we know what pleased the most high. And, and, and also, what, what pleased the most high is us believing in his son, man. All right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> so he, you know, he paved that way. You know? And John 14 tells you, man, uh, he, he believed in the most high, also believed in me. Yep. Question real quick. Uh, Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel should be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it should come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, You are not my people, there should be said unto them, You are the sons of the living power. So, you know, that was Yahweh Shah said that in uh, John the first chapter. If we need to believe on him, he has power to uh, make them what? Sons of the living power. Going back to what? Uh, receiving that heritage again, Yahshua, man. You know, that's our name. He is the Prince of the Power. And Atlantis, you know, first talking about here, talking about America, all right, being Babylon the Great. You know, they're not saying that over there to the people over in our land right now. Everybody's, hey, that's the people. No, there's no resistance to it, you know. But when we say, look at look how much hell Jake catch, you know. All this stuff, calling us terrorists and all this stuff, you know, calling us um, extremists, you know. When we're just trying to clean back, clean, clean back onto our nationality and heritage, you know. You should be, be happy for us. Why y'all giving us all this hate for? You know, because you are a liar. You got exposed, all right. And the Lord is showing who he's really dealing with. Okay, and he, and he says the spirit of truth in the world cannot receive. And that's what we have. Okay, it says uh, the time shall come when the true worship of the Most High shall worship the Most High truth in the spirit. You know, this is happening right now. All right. Um, let me go back, wrap up. I'm in group four still. Uh, group four and twenty-two it says, "For my hope is in the everlasting, that He will save you." All right. What does Yahweh Shai's name mean? Okay, He delivers. All right. He saves. And joy has come unto, unto me from the Holy One, because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. So patiently wait, man. Uh, uh, with, uh, not just seven and nine. Wait, uh, bear nation to the Lord till he heed our cause. Paraphrase. All right. Uh, verse 23. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping. The Lord keep you aside of the land. We ain't there no more. Okay. It says, but the Most High will give you to me again. So what? Saying me. This is the Lord speaking through the Spirit. Okay. It says, behold, I, I'm in the book. is written of me. All right. So the Lord is speaking unto us directly, man. He said, I will. I'm read again, Brooklyn, Group 4, verse 23. I sent you out with mourning and weeping. But the most I will give you to me, all right? The most I will give you to me. Okay, this, 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 this is how I was speaking, man. All right? So, uh, John 17 chapter, okay? Um, but the most I will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Verse 24, for, it says, Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. So all these nations saw us going to captivity. They ain't say nothing. They ain't say, y'all, hold on, y'all tripping. Y'all got the, the, the apple of the most high eyes. They, 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 they happy, they was happy as hell. Well, uh, quoted earlier, Lamentations, what, uh, two or three? Four, About, four, four and twenty-one. Rejoice to be glad, but how the nation say, oh, oh, this is what we look for, okay? You know, oh, Jake getting brought down, was just going to talk about uh, Babylonians took us, took us down, but they're doing it still today, okay? When they saw Jake going on cargo slave ships, when they saw Jake, uh, you know, get taken out by the civil white man of Calvary and all that, okay? They were happy, okay? And they ain't say nothing. They ain't say restore, they ain't say nothing. Nobody came to our aid, okay? Nobody helped us out. All right, that's a curse, all right? But uh, group 424, like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, 
so shall they see surely your salvation from our power, which shall come unto you with great glory and brightness of and brightness of the everlasting of my Lord and being us up in ships. All right, you know, coming in the fellowship, you know, wisdom song of chapter says the strength of our salvation. The whole world will see our salvation, like like the whole world saw our salvation in the time of ancient Egypt. All right. Uh, verse 25, my group 4 and 25, my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the most high. So the Lord sent his nation upon us because we disobeyed him. All right, simple as that. We didn't, we didn't keep right in the bargain. All right, but the Lord he said he's subject unto man, he, subject, he subjected us to hope. All right, he says, For thine enemy have persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. All right, you know, so we, we're, we're, we're here because we're witnessing the Lord destroy this man. Okay, we're those faithful witnesses. Okay, the Lord set up prophets. Claim, okay, Jeremiah 28 and 8 against this world, okay, the evil is to come, okay, things that's gonna play out, and show what's gonna come after, okay. The Lord has us here on the earth to see why right, these things come to pass, okay. It's only with that eye shall see the world of the wicked. All right, that's a blessed thing, okay. Uh, he actually said, Many righteous men and the prophets desire to see the things which you see and not seen them. But when this week we're here back again today through spirit, okay, to see what the Lord told us thousand years ago, playing on here in real time. Okay, you know, the MOTV World War Three, the devil coming down, okay, being destroyed, the Lord coming with the rest of us coming. Okay, delivering his leg to those ships. Okay, you know, we're here to see all this stuff because why? Because the Lord, again, he's about to be found faithful and true. Okay, I'll stop doing that. Sarah 25, verse 7. It says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. In the tenth, I will utter with my tongue a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. That's another reason why 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 why, why, did, why uh, we have a smile on our face, right? Because right? we're looking forward to be to be uh, alive to see the fall of our enemy, right? You know, we're looking forward to see the, the fall of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of America, right? All right, Revelation, I believe it's 15, all right, uh, being on the chariot, you know, uh, being on the sea of glass, right? We're seeing the destruction of America. Hey, real quick, like I say, we got a hope that nobody can't take from us, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Esau, we know Esau, he, he has control over the physical realm, but this hope that we have is up in the heavens. He can't, he can't taint it. He can't touch it. So it's, that's, that's, he can't take that from us, man. Yeah, that's going to always be in us. No matter what he does, persecution, anything he brings to us, you know, he put up, he put up his enchantments, his spells, bringing forth more demons, all these principalities. It, it's still the hope that we got it. Nobody can take it from us, man. Exactly. And if he kill us, shit, that's that's a guaranteed a uh, 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 ticket on a on a chariot, man. You know, so it's, it's no way we can lose, man. If we stay with stay with the thing, you help us me on shot, you know. This is uh, Sirach one and fourteen. So fear the Lord, you help us me on shot is the beginning of wisdom and it was created with the faithful in the womb you know just going into the rubber he's going in on you know he can't take that away from us because for one we got that fear okay which the fear was given to the faithful in the womb okay see that's the thing that two-thirds of our nation of people don't have okay because even when you go into fear the reason why we fear the lord is because we love the lord just like how a son will fear his father, you know? And you go into honor. You honor your father is by fearing him, by, by, by having that love, you know? Like, you know what? If I do that, I'm gonna be penalized by my father, you know? So that's the spirit that we in. And like the elder brother just stated, once we stay in that, in that, on that frequency, Esau can't do nothing with us. Cause we not even of the flesh. No? Hey, real quick, back you up. The scriptures say the fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's the greatest treasure is the fear. And we have that. That's what separate, like you said, that's what separates us, brothers. We've got the greatest riches. We that uh, money can't nothing can buy the fear of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. With that is gonna come salvation. You know, by uh, the scriptures say the fear of the Lord is the beginning, you know, of wisdom, man. So with that, bro, we're gonna bro, we gonna be alright, bro. Just keep the fear, bro. The fear is gonna keep you from taking the seat here. You know what I'm saying? Jake, don't fear the Lord. So we have that treasure, bro. You know? This Romans 8 and 29. Hey, uh, this brother can close out with this one. All right, 
It's Romans 8 and 29. For whom we did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. So right now we're, we're being formed into the image of the son, Yahweh Shai. All right, but in order, like it says in the, um, the book of Sirach, the second chapter, uh, it says, um, acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So right now we're going through these through these trials and tribulations. We're going through the affliction. All right, but you know, that's the part of the, that refining process, you know, because gold and silver has to go through the fire in order to get, to get out those impurities. So, you know, the Lord is forming us to be in the image of his son. You know, like you were saying earlier, like uh, two thirds, like, yeah, they they they're Israelites of the bloodline, but they 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 don't they don't have the image of the sun. They have the image of of of, of the um of the devil, man. You know, but we we being formed in the image of the sun. You know, it's all predestined. You can close out, brother. Okay. All right, so, you know, so we're going to wrap it up with that. We pray that this lesson was edifying unto the hopeful elect. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of the Yahweh Bashan al Also, want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, the men, women, and children. May Yahweh Bashan al Shah show mercy on in these last days. And why do Yahweh Bashan al Shah for giving us the spirit of truth? And why do Yahweh Bashan al Shah for giving us the Holy Spirit? That we're caught for God to come together and make this uh, lesson. Lord, welcome to the next lesson. Shalom and the Bible of God. Shalom.